think, but nobody's... All the lesbians are very butch. Is Sam. This is good Sam's here because Sam's mentioned in this article. Yes. Oh, am oh. I here? Is hey, man. Day? Yeah, take a seat. It must have been a news day today, I think. And who are these guys? These guys are my thunks. Comedy thunks. How come these are the new comedy clean thugs? outlaws of comedy? Is the outlaws of comedy? Yeah, Dan Barton. You remember Dan, I think. Hey, how you doing, Dan? And Jimmy Schubert, of course, Steve. Huh. Oh, good. I don't know if... I think I'm supposed to be in this. I don't know. Newsday, right? Yeah, you're in it? Yeah, I guess. They, uh, they did a story. It's supposed to come out today. No, but I don't know what it says. Block. I haven't seen it. We should read that together. Day 41, babe. How are you doing? Oh, you really are straight still? Yeah. I was yeah. talking to some guys that were discussing whether Kinnison's really straight or not, and I said, well, <laughs> they said, do you think it's going to last? And I said... Honestly. Yeah. The I, said, well, I said, I don't see it lasting. Okay? <laughs> I, I got to be honest. Robin, I did say, morning. are these guys going to stand there like mental patients and yes, stare at me? That's not. It's scary. No, sit on the floor, Indian style. Hi, right, guys, yeah. have some coffee. Take a break. We'll be right with you. Yeah, yeah. Hey, the, the, the new, the, the new, uh, the new logo. Tell them the outlaws of town. It's the new logo. Check How come there's out. a needle hanging out of this guy's out. arm? Check this out. Yeah. <laughs> the new logo for the outlaws of comedy. The, the outlaws, outlaws of comedy. comedy. Who really cares? Yeah. Yeah. See, got, yeah. I like that, man. Hey, yeah. good seeing you guys. Seriously, I'll get you in. I'll get you in in a few minutes. All right. Yeah. Just want to establish that you're here. Yeah, I know. I know right. that. You, you know, I'm doing radio. Hey, it's our stern show. Yeah. Sam Kinison, ladies and it gentlemen. It takes a little, uh, you know, a little protocol involved here. So anyway. Um, been listening to you all morning because I was with the, you know, an interesting limo driver who took the Holland Tunnel. <laughs> nice. I left at a quarter to seven. And you couldn't get in. Yeah, I just now got here. I know. So I listened to the entire show. By the way, those outlaws, better looking guys than the other. Well, yeah, you know. Rule, rule, I was going to say, you can look at these outlaws. <laughs> yeah, right. They don't have to wear masks. <laughs> I like those outlaws. They're well behaved. Don't have to the other wear outlaws, masks. you couldn't get them out of the room, you know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> hey, I want to talk to Sam. <laughs> Tough. <laughs> we have to be in here. But no one knows who you are. Doesn't matter. We have to be in here. People know who we are. We're the outlaws. Yeah, and those outlaws were depressed, too. Excuse me. The only outlaw I know is Josie Wales. Okay? And he ain't here. Man, what's wrong with that? <laughs> yeah. So, anyway, uh, so Phil Donahue will host the big gay awards. He's going to host the gay awards? He's hosting awards? the gay He's awards. The MC. But here's the catch. Donahue intends to make himself scarce when the so-called negative awards are announced for such defamatory broadcasters as um, Andy Rooney, Howard Stern, and Bob Grant. And um, now why I'm getting a negative award, I don't know. You're getting a uh, negative award? I forget yeah. what category. Can't believe in. that. It's hard to believe. So are you, so relax. Oh. We didn't get to you yet. <laughs> yeah. I would go to this. Am I mentioning I'm this? I'm going. You are going? Yes. You have tickets? I'm going to call today. Oh. Really? Uh, yeah. yeah. You're going? I'm going. I wouldn't miss these awards. <laughs> Probably with a huge black man in a dress. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, the black man will be in the dress. <laughs> so anyway. Sitting in a white board. Donahue uh. is giving out Donahue is giving out the positive awards, not the negative ones. Oh, good. Who's giving out the negative ones? They'll get some gay person to do that. Yeah, I think yeah. Harvey Firestein will be uh, up there. <laughs> I'm sick and tired of <laughs> I'm just sick and tired of uh, so many people in the media bashing gays. Why can't they say something positive? Excuse me, what is it? What is it? Why do you have such a bug up your ass, Harvey? You know, and glad. What is glad? Howard Stern. B. Howard Stern. I hate him. Yeah. B. Hey, where's my tape of Harvey yeah. Firestein? I'll play for Sam. He'll oh, like yeah, this. I haven't heard this. Yeah. <laughs> Freddie knows where it is. He'll get it. Oh, by the way, I called John. I called John now at like about 6.40. Uh, yeah. I called him and said, tell Howard I'm coming in. Yeah. So I keep waiting. I'm, I'm thinking you're going to say I'm going to come in. Yeah. So like... According to you, we don't know if Sam's coming in or not. He, you know, doesn't he doesn't call. tell me. Well, nobody gives us a message. No. That's a John. I'll tell you. Uh, He's an air person. Yeah. John's busy. I know. John's He's very busy. He's sleeping out in the hall. Yeah, right, right. What, did you expect him to walk down the hall? I didn't. I was, I was, I should have asked for Gary. All I learned. <laughs> oh, 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 I figured you, you knew. <laughs> <laughs> You didn't hear the tape yesterday of Leslie and um, and John, did you? No, no, I was uh, so much Pittsburgh. stuff. Right? There's so much stuff. stuff. Yeah, classic. I was outside of that uh, Howard Range and I felt lonely. I was in Pittsburgh where they need you. This is something that you would really love. <laughs> you would laugh very, very hard. Hey, did you see Geraldo yesterday? Yep. Yeah. Yes. Let yeah. me comment on that. We have a phone number if you want to call her later. Good. I, I, About but, like nine nine thirty or so. But I'm going to say something here that. Okay. May not be in her best. Uh, but yeah, I, she might not like me after I say this. Well, yeah, All okay. right, and I got to say this. All right, go, go for it. Go for it. You know, whatever you want to say about dice, let's let's drop that for a okay. second, and let's let's talk Look about the issue. As All right. a generic case, <clears throat> there's a woman on Geraldo yesterday who says she was married to Dice for two years early on when he first started out as a stand-up comic. Yes. Okay. 
And she was in love with him. Pleasant looking girl. Very. Very yes. pleasant. And uh, really, actually, when they, the best part was when they showed the wedding, wedding pictures. pictures. Oh, yeah, yes. yeah. And Dice well, had like a kinky afro. Yeah. <laughs> you know, they, they actually, I knew her when she was a cover grand. girl. Did he have a nose job? Did he get a nose job? I don't know. I haven't, I haven't seen He it. didn't look like the face had changed all that much. He but just, I, I knew he her. had a different attitude. Yeah. I knew her when she was a cover girl. They started dating like 81. She yeah, was a cover girl? She was a cover girl at the comedy store. That's where he met her. But her, and she used to support him her her skin for like five years before they were ever married. Her skin looked a little... Uh, yeah, you yeah. know what? I think they did her own makeup. I mean, I think they did that TV makeup. You know oh, the pancake okay. deal? All right. Because we're, we're noticing that, too. She's very pretty. Yeah, she is. <clears throat> and she didn't look pretty. Right. I mean, you know, she didn't look as good as her she normally does. Her skin looked ravaged. So when they do TV shows, I don't, I don't know if she's been on camera before. Okay, maybe that was it. And I think they pancaked her. Because Marvin Mitchelson might have done her makeup. Yeah. She looked yeah. awfully yeah, grainy. Yeah, he's a charming guy. Yeah, isn't he? Grainy. Yeah, Mr. Marvin Marv. Mitchelson. I know. So, anyway. My ex-wife got him, too. Oh, really? But I said a lot of court, and I was smart. Well, he probably will, so too. So it's kind of fun to watch Dice uh, go through what I would have gone through if I hadn't settled out. <laughs> yeah, right. Oh, well, your, fir your first wife on uh, Geraldo. Yeah, oh, oh. Yeah, right, oh. That was the first thing I asked her. But really... I said, um, hey, was my wife there? She goes, no, no, your ex-wife wasn't involved. I think they must make a pact to get these girls on Geraldo so that Geraldo will not say anything negative to them. But, I mean, really, she should be called to task here because... She, I heard her story. Her story is that she was married to a guy early on in his career. They were both very young. And for whatever reason, they weren't in love. Okay? Dice fell out of love, or she was in yeah, love. Yeah, but she didn't represent herself good yesterday. Right, I mean, now, let I me know just the inside so. scoop. That's right, why you I, get, tell me. That's why I get upset. Let me right, tell you my right, impression. All right, go ahead. Right. This is what we saw. Okay. I'll read news. They were both working. <laughs> Dice was working toward yes. becoming a stand-up comic. She was uh, also supporting by going out and working, much like my wife and I did in the beginning. My wife worked and I worked, all right? When mm -hmm. I was making enough bread that she could quit working and we decided to have kids, she stopped working. Okay. But they were young, no kids. They were in love. They got married. Dice, for whatever reason, decides he's not in love anymore. It yeah. can happen. Okay? So it happens... And at the time, whatever, listen, no one knew he would become a great, uh, big no, star. No, wait a second. He was already on, in 87, he was already on that stupid gangster show he was on. Yeah. He was already making well over, like, six figures a year in Vegas and comedy clubs. And he was? Oh, yeah. Okay, all right. Oh, yeah, 87. This was, like, but, like but, two and a half years ago. All right. Was yeah. it Gangster Story? story? Was that the thing he was on? Oh, I know what you're Remember talking about. Remember that? A crime yeah. story. Crime story. Yeah, he was already in crime story. But he had things happening. But seven years. you got to realize also the California law, which I know well. Yes. You know. Nice. Um, He's you know, tested yes. You know better than yeah. anyone. Oh, yeah. You've tested uh, those laws. That, there's a, there, uh, I mean, I broke up with my wife in 82. 82, man. Right. I mean, we, we literally separated, have filed uh, separate income tax forms, all that stuff. We just didn't get around on a divorce because I, every time I got around her, I would sleep with her. <laughs> yeah, right. I would go down to talk divorce with her. And she's like, yeah, well, yeah, let's get a divorce right after we do this. <laughs> oh, <yeah. laughs> so we have some demon sex. Yeah. Some demon possessed sex. And yeah. then it was like, you don't really want to divorce me. Oh, no, right. No, I don't want to divorce you. Yeah. Well, she probably good. Was thinking, oh, yeah. <laughs> so, like, you know. So, so next thing I you know, it's 1987. Yeah, okay, but that's different because, yeah. all right, you did not technically get a divorce. No, we So didn't. you were still married. But, you know, also, I right. mean, then with the Dice's attorney, the, the, the guy says, no, you don't need another lawyer. Right. Okay, I mean, this was your sister. Put your sister in this position, right? Well, okay, wait well, a I'm going to put my sister Seven in that years, position. Seven years, the California law is that if you separate, even if you've lived together for more than four years, the right. woman is entitled to half. Right. Of, of what of you your have. Uh, absolute, right. absolute worth. Assets, well, they should property. determine his net worth. If for some reason the determination was not made, it had to be more than unmade. eighteen grand, man. Come on. Okay, whatever it was. If it was, let's say his net worth at that point was, let's say he was making what, a hundred thousand dollars a year, two hundred thousand yeah. dollars a year. Okay, whatever he I mean, was for making. Seven, I mean, I didn't gripe. I had to pay a couple hundred grand, and this All was right, to so a woman that I hadn't seen and had been with actually for like seven years. I didn't gripe. I mean, you have to if do. If there that, was a miscalculation, you know? but what is she suing for? For something like five million? Oh, oh well, that's, that's Mitchelson. Now? That's Mitchelson. No, yeah. it's like three point six million. Yeah, and it's just it's uh, it's an outrage that the courts are bogged down with uh, the, these kinds of... Trivial. Yeah, I mean, the divorce occurred. The time to speak up was then. Now, her story is that she was threatened, and I'm I, 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 know, I remember when they were together. All right, yeah, well, that's family, different then. His family basically said, you know, you know, you'll, you know, you tried to get anything from our son, and, uh, you know, bad things are going to happen to you, this kind of stuff. We can talk oh, really? about it on the phone later, yeah. Well, well, then, I mean, when, I just, when I knew her, nobody even knew she was married until they divorced. Well, then she he didn't, wouldn't let her tell anybody. Well, then she didn't represent herself well. I'll yeah, tell exactly. you what She's I not saw. that sharp a girl. Right. You know, when I, mean, I was sorry. sitting there, it sounded to me like Marvin Mitchelson had looked her up, that she didn't really have a complaint. And that, you know, because he had to keep jumping in with a story. She was just saying, well, we were married. Mm. Well, I mean, the guy puts on the back cover of Billboard 
or what is Bill Border? Yeah, I think it was Bill Border. It was Bill Border, the Hollywood Reporter, when he when he did the Nassau thing. He sold out. He told her what the gross was, right. and the nice rules, and right, you right, know. Right. I mean, ex-wife sees that. It was like when my ex-wife saw me on the cover of Rolling Stone. Yeah. They started going, wait a second. Wait a second. Yeah. There yeah. might yeah. be some money. Yeah, I put some years into this guy. <laughs> right. I, you know, I struggled with him, and you know. Yeah, but you know, that's that's the sort of sour grapes. It's like, well, hey, you know, if things don't work out, and when a guy when a guy leaves a marriage. And a no, woman leaves a marriage. They've been married for how long now? Yeah, but they lived together five years before they were married. You got to understand the California law. I mean, they were together. They might as well have been married. I remember them. I knew. I knew them well. Yeah. Yeah. Kathy. Well, Sam would be in on this. He uh, wouldn't even let her. Uh, you be people be even didn't women. even know her name was Kathy. He made everybody call her Dollface. Dollface. Yeah. I didn't yeah. even know her name was Kathy. See, everybody she should have said this. I know exactly. Wrong. We were watching oh, the television. Go. We were sitting there watching it yesterday in Pittsburgh. Going, Kathy, tell the, what. Tell what went on. Don't be such an, a nice little girl about this. You're right. sounding like a wuss. Yeah, right. That's why the audience was jumping up and saying. I know. I couldn't like, understand. You I was don't going, have a case. You thought Mitch, I thought Mitchelson would have teased her to be a little more vicious and tell like you know she couldn't wear a wedding wedding ring. She couldn't tell anybody they were married. Well, see, I yeah. didn't know if this was the same woman we had talked to yeah, on it's the, the phone same one. who said that she couldn't tell anybody they I were know, married. I know. I was going, tell this stuff. Don't yeah, sit there right. and go, well, I, I kind of, you know, I always kind of love it. I was going, oh, man. I don't know. It's just, it's just Be like my ex-wife. Come after me. Come on. Yeah, right. Grab a steak knife. Let's go. Yeah, yeah right. <laughs> but you, you settled out of court, right? I mean, yes, you're all... Yes, of course. You're all straight. Some yeah. gag order, you know. And yeah. just one payment. And it's all over the press. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> just right there. Well, she can talk about it. I can but talk you're about divorced it. now, man. That's I'm it. I'm totally clean. You're totally free. I have paid half the money. I, they broke it up in payments for me. So I have to pay the first two years. I have to give her like 50 grand. I see. For, you know, two more years. I'm out of it. <laughs> I know, man. But, yeah. you know, you right. what are you going to do? Money, I mean, it could have been worse. Yeah, I mean, right. It could have been worse. Oh, it could have been a lot worse. And I plan to marry again as soon as there's world peace and all people live as one. So. Yeah, right. You'll never marry again. I know that. Oh, yes. Well, not unless, if there's world peace, I will. Now, what about the divorce you're going you through know. from the first set of outlaws of comedy? <laughs> now, is that final? <laughs> is that going to be messy? Will we see them on Geraldo? Is that over? Uh, yes. Will you see basically. Marvin Mitchelson with yeah. uh, <laughs> Alan Steven? What are they going to call that? Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Palimony. <laughs> we were in foul. Outlaw money. Outlaw money. <laughs> Outlaw money. <laughs> All right, I tell you what, I got to take a break, and then when we come back, we, you're in time for the news. I'm here. I'm here with Sam you. Kittison's here. You know he's at Nassau Coliseum Saturday of night. Of course. Oh, got some more names to the list. Who's Rick coming? Rick going to be there jamming with us. Oh, very right. good. I know, Rick. We got Joe and Leslie. We got uh, Fred Curry from Cinderella on drums. Oh, very nice. We got the Randy Hansen band from L.A. We got to see this kid. Is there going to be room for me on stage? Oh, okay. We have a stack. We have a Marshall stack. We have a guitar. I'll need a Marshall stack. You want to bring your guitar with your face yeah, on it? Yeah, yeah. I'll need okay. a Marshall stack as we well. Got you, we got your stack. We got you covered. <laughs> <laughs> I need to be up loud. <laughs> You'll be right next to me, Ben. Yeah. I need to jam very loud. The Stack Brothers. I might want to do some lead. I know I ought to work on some lead. I can, song will, I can show you a couple things. What song will we be doing? Uh, we're going to be doing a, whole, a, a big jam, man. You know, we're going to be we should practice later on in the show. House. What do we practice uh, later you gotta on? you got to see though? this kid Randy play, man. I mean, he, I'm, I swear to God, the best Hendrix tribute. I mean, are, John's here, and I can tell John. Are you going to do Wild Thing on stage? I don't think so. Because I, I mean, can play I, lead to that. Burned out. Well, we, yeah, all right, we might close with that. All right. Yeah, we we'll close with that. I want to come in, too, today and talk to you about my Letterman set tomorrow night, because, again, yeah. all right. I remember we'll last time, that. and I didn't get your advice. <laughs> yeah, all right. I want to go over the set with you. <laughs> let me tell you, I'm good at it. your advice. <laughs> I know exactly what to do. what to do this time. I want to know exactly what to do. Also, let me tell you about my plans I made for Philadelphia when we get back. And uh, let's do the news when we get back, too. Right after these words. Sorry. TSI, you know what that is? No. You'll know I, about this. I came this. to learn. <laughs> <laughs> well, this would be perfect for Sam. Yeah, this would actually be good for him. You know, Sam had a little trouble with a movie. Uh, yes. We know about that. Sure do. The movie was A-Tuck. Yes. Is that all straightened <laughs> out? Or you might get a tattoo for that. You know, A-Tuck. What is it, John? I'm, I'm in the middle of trying to catch up on my commercials. What is it? What? What? Quickly. I can't hear. Go to that microphone. Not, what's with you? It's like I'm dealing with... Go to that microphone. <laughs> All right, man. Just uh, Young MC's on the line. Uh, with, again? Young got, MC? You know, every time he calls, he calls at the worst time. I'm just doing nothing all morning. Everyone calls all at once. Well, I, I asked Is there a professional back there who can explain that we now... <laughs> Sam just walked in. Leslie's on the phone. <laughs> Young MC's on the phone. And I got 19 commercials on hold. I'm like an, I'm like an air traffic controller in yeah, here. I, I told Gary, he said, let's go tell you. And get, get a number where we can call him. Right. I need a they professional were in Pittsburgh back last there. Night. Is he still yeah, in Pittsburgh? He's in Pittsburgh? Yeah, he was there with Millie Vanilli. Tell him we want to call him back. He's it's opening just... for Millie Vanilli. Okay. Uh, That's got to be a great gig. Yeah. <laughs> he was opening for Millie yeah. Vanilli. Yeah, he was in Pittsburgh, but we left last night. We were there, too, across the street. Robin, TSI. Holy cow. 
Yeah, I gotta get some professionals working for well, me. Well, our professional just refers everything to this studio. Yeah, we got guys just constantly walking in. Mr. People don't know. People don't know the pressure. Says I'm the producer. Yeah. Says, oh, go tell Howard. Yeah. <laughs> Gary doesn't say, wait a second, Sam's on, this one's on, that one's on. They just act like it's a big picnic or fun. They don't know. Yeah. If they were here and saw it, you are like air traffic Well, you're trying to keep things together, you know. Yeah. Letterman doesn't have, you know, Morton, Morty. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Bob Morty. Yeah. <laughs> he, doesn't Morty. Say, <laughs> he doesn't say, tell Dave. Yeah. Morty. <laughs> Morty does tell Dave. That's the problem. He's about as useful as Gary. <laughs> Morty. I don't know what country he's in. All right, anyway. TSI Telebusiness Systems International is the first ever electronic image database. And you're saying, well, what is this? Yeah, because you're I'm in show graduate. business. Yeah. You want who do you want to see your resume and your headshot? The most powerful people, producers, people that run the studios, people that are involved with television, things that movers and shakers basically you, in the industry. You want to be in production, right? Yeah. You want other production I want to check people. For being a pitch man too. Right. Yeah, no. <laughs> now anyway. <laughs> now let's say you're one of these people and you want to get your resume and picture into the computer. What computer? There's a computer. I don't know where this computer is. But I mean, this would save you from going like to all these auditions and right. Well, you'll have to probably audition. Yeah, the audition, but I mean, but you'll you, get the audition you'll because get the, audition. the producers oh. will see your headshot and resume in the computer. They can just type up on and like say they're looking for a nudnik. A nudnik. And John would be it would pop up for example, <laughs> stuttering John. Let's see, we type in nudnik, slow, unwashed, unshaved, no motivation. <laughs> and stutters. And stutters. And it'd be stuttering John, okay? There you go. We type that in, all right? That's his resume. Right. And then it would come out. That's why you must call TSI right now. If you're in the business, or you want to get into the business. You think it would help me to do this? Sam, you know, it's it you're big at this point. I don't well, know yeah, you need this, but, you know. See, you'll be the star, but when you're looking for those faces to cast the rest true. of your movie. But you so know what kills I, me? I wouldn't have to spend the 10 years that I did, and or the 11 years. Right. And a lot of movies, they say, you know, yeah. get me uh, someone like, like Kinnison. Yeah, exactly. I'm a type now. They were, all they of a sudden, writing they Kinnison, Kinnison type. They, would, they would type in Kinnison, and your headshot would appear. And they'd say, wow. wait a second. Let's get Kinnison. That is Kinnison. Hey, that is maybe, Kinnison. Maybe I should actually do this. <laughs> right. A Kinnison type. Now, uh, for example, I know a producer who used this. He was casting. He needed a musical video he was doing. Uh -huh. He needed a type. So he types in someone with no self-control and a troublemaker. And Leslie, Leslie's wow. picture pops wow. up. Wow. No. Wow. <laughs> wow. It works Bad good, influence. Huh? Right. Leslie comes right. in. Right. Yeah. Now, so if you want to get into the computer... As, uh, I think Jackie's wife is in the computer. Call 201-342-3314. Yeah, joke woman. 201-342-3314. Don't call her joke woman anymore. Her name is Dollface. You guys have a joke child? 201-342-3314. That's Jackie's theme music you're enjoying in the background. All right, listen to these words. See, John, I don't want you blowing the guy... See, I, this is the other thing. Where's Gary? Bring Gary in here. Get, get me Gary. Get me Gary. Let me say something to you right. before yeah. you talk to Gary. Yeah. I thought about the whole oh, Melissa Gilbert Oh, my incident. God, Gilbert! Oh, my Gilbert. God. Now, Gilbert Godfrey's here. Gilbert, Gilbert, put it there, bro. Oh, how are you? I oh. can't talk. No. <laughs> Does he, hey, wait a second. Hey, <laughs> let me handle this myself. Hey, young. Hold on one second, Gilbert. Right. Hey, young MC. Yeah. Good to see you. Howard. How you doing, Howard? I don't mean to keep blowing you off. Young, Marvin. Hi, I'm Howard. Not Let me tell you, you off. every I'm time you call, <laughs> you, 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 Howard. You, hey, what's going on, Marvin? Let me just say something. For the hey, last hey, week, Howard, you see, Howard. now I'm going to get into. Let me just explain something here. I got to do a commercial. I'm mean, like, it's like, it's like being an air traffic <laughs> controller. <laughs> yeah. I, I got some copies great in another room. Howard. I didn't even know he was here. Why doesn't, why doesn't John <laughs> tell you, young MC's on the phone? <laughs> Hey, man, I put my name for you in the hotel yesterday. Oh, jeez. <laughs> All right, I'm going home. <laughs> Gary, it's go produce. The conversation's Howard. going on. Go produce and what tell you. Joe said. Go produce. Can you, me, can, can you guys let me give We have Young MC's phone here. number. We told him we'd call him back. Any, yeah, but he's leaving, and evidently he's getting mixed signals. Just handle there it. No, there were no mixed signals. John said... Uh, uh, yes, there were, Gary. I don't, want a, I don't want a Melissa like Gilbert... Gary. I like all him. I, I don't want a Melissa Gilbert situation where the guy thinks I'm blowing him off. Feel secure. <laughs> yeah, but with Gilbert, it's, it's justified. Gilbert who? Not Stop Gilbert. I'm talking about you, Young. <laughs> I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to shoot somebody. I'm going to shoot myself. That's what I'm going to do. Okay. Young, listen, I just got 19 things going on. When, where are you going to be tomorrow? Um, damn, where am I going to be? I'm going to be... With Kari. 7.30 tomorrow, I'm going to be looking for stuff to do. Hey, remember that Kari girl, dude? Huh? See, from don't the video, it, Kari, Sam, remember Kari? Don't, don't get into it, She was with Howard? Sam, don't get into it yet. I got plenty to talk okay, to him right, about, okay, but okay. it's just, it's going to be But he was there at the video when we shot yeah, the video. Sam, Sam, check yeah. it out. 
First thing that 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 one chick, um, Shay. Yeah. She's the one that she's the one that brought me down. She got so jealous because I went out with that other girl, Amy. You met, you Young, do Amy? me a favor. Do me a favor. <laughs> <laughs> tomorrow, Gary control. is going to set up a time so right, I can speak with you tomorrow. Howard, Howard, yeah, Howard. Yeah. I need you guys to give me some advice. Ryan Stomach Cancer Delsner is promoting my date in Albany. <laughs> yeah. So what should I do? Should I go up to him and ask him if his, his stomach's okay? Yeah. Listen, I'm going to call you back tomorrow. Ryan no, oh, Stomach Cancer Delsner. Delsner. I'm calling you back. Him if he's all right. Hold on. Hold on. No, don't do this to no, me. Hold just on. hold, just hold, dude. We'll be right see. back. Hold on. <laughs> see, see, if I say it, he'll do see, it. See, now he, he likes thinks me. that I'm he's buddy. being blown up. The Real Estate Buyers Network. <laughs> Let me get to that. <laughs> okay. All right. Real Estate Buyers Network. Oh, what is it? Can, can I watch you while you do this? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Protocol. Protocol's yeah. a bitch, isn't it? No, okay. <laughs> I just sort of need a backbone back there coordinating it. Yeah. Well, I think what happened with the Melissa Gilbert thing uh -huh. was that... When you say, no, I don't want to talk to somebody, and you wave your hands frantically like they're in your way, uh -huh. Gary blows them off on the phone, or yeah. whoever's handling the phone just uh, is rude to them. Gary goes, yeah, well, Howard can't talk to you. He doesn't Goodbye. want to talk to you. Sorry. Well, that's what I was afraid was happening. John was back there. As bad as Gary is, John's back there manning the phone and sort of blowing people off. And I'm going, no, I tell him I can't speak to him right now. And I'm sure he just goes, hey, 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 hey he can't sp speak to you right now. He can't speak to how is this for our speech today? <laughs> I said, look, look, how is how to wave this side? I don't think you want to speak today. So I'm taking it upon myself to make the decisions here. Yeah. I tell you how it does not want to speak today. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> exactly. That's, he's got the Tell the, him the best to move. Best to move. <laughs> Anyway, listen. Whatever to that means. <laughs> now, now I see Young MC has been on hold all this time. All this time. Yeah. I'm gonna have to put you on hold. Excuse me for a minute, John. <laughs> get Gary. Get get Young MC and Gary on the phone. I don't believe this. I'm in a nightmare. Jackie, do me a favor. Go out there and take care of it. Will it's you? the Spanish lady. She take put a curse on you, dude. So we don't lose a friend. She's got a Howard Voodoo doll right now. Just messing Where were up we? your show, Mister Real Estate Buyers Network. <laughs> Yes. <laughs> and Gary thinks he's coming over to do television with me if I do a TV show. Uh, yeah, will he coordinate it this well? Yeah. He really can handle it. You know what? His mind is blown. I asked him to Xerox a whole bunch of papers today. So he has threw up his hands and gave up the show. Yeah. He's given up the entire program. Wow. And he's back. To, he came into the bathroom like, his, like Richard Lewis, like when you, you start rubbing your head and stuff. Well, what are those uh -huh. You know, he's wearing a Walkman. I don't know. I don't know what he's doing. <laughs> uh, I don't want to know about What's it. What's he listening to? The Real Estate Buyers Network. When you sell a house, yes. okay, you can go to a... a uh, yeah. You can go to a... Uh -huh. Seven as much sincerity as yes. you can muster. Yeah. Yeah, listen, the Real Estate Network. Go to sell a house. When if, you want to sell... He only had a tear going down his face. When you want to <laughs> sell a house, okay... What you do is, uh, it go, I've got goodness. the most complicated, what happened, Jackie? It's worse out there. Oh, is no. it? What's going on out pressure. there? A lot of pressure. Yeah, this is like a big deal. <laughs> People Gary's don't know how to, how to handle it. And is Gary, like, flipping out? Well, there's one person on the phone at the same time out there. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I wish, we, if we're real quiet, we could listen in to what's going on on the phone. Now, oh, forget it. Let me get through okay. the Real Estate Buyers yeah. Network. Yeah. Uh -huh. Real Estate Buyers Network is a... <laughs> <laughs> this is another one of those times you need a sponsor, you don't have to explain. Where is Coca-Cola? Why won't they spon be a sponsor on my show? Is it really offensive to them? Would someone explain to Coca-Cola that there's nothing really offensive going on here? And a lot of our people drink sodas. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Drink Real Hispanic Estate people. Buyers Network. <laughs> <laughs> I don't believe it. All right, listen. What the Real Estate Buyers Network is. See, this is why. Listen, Johnny Carson goes in. He does an hour. It's all set. I was reading with Jay Leno. They got a producer. He sits there. He goes over the monologue. He's got his own producer. Yeah, it's big unbelievable. Person. They he's got a, a producer. Big person. They got a producer. They got a director. <laughs> they got a person working the camera. They got old states of uh, important people. I like go into some person like Carson, who's a big star. A big star like this he's got a director he's got a producer he's got a whole crew i stand there i'm doing a bias network commercial nobody's helping me out nobody helps me with nothing i'm sitting here i got sam i got gilbert there would give me a hard time i got jackie here all right now let me get uh, no, I, got, no. I got gary the guy with the teeth he's not doing a thing all right listen to me listen to me he listen to me there with the real estate teeth. buyers network i gotta do a real estate buyer commercial because I <laughs> let's pray to jesus right now jesus 
Jesus, will Coca please make Coca Cola like me, so they will advertise. I don't got Coke. I don't got Pepsi. I don't right. got a big station. Now listen to this. Let me get through this. The Real Estate Buyers Network yeah. is a network where you pay a one-time fee. What channel is that? How do you handle this without drinking? All right. Here's what I want to do. Here's what I want to do. I'm going to apologize to real estate buyers. I'm going to tell them that I cannot do the commercial at this time. This is the first time this has ever happened. We won't accept their money on this. We'll reschedule the commercial. Is that fair? Uh, do it. Mm -hmm. All right. Do it. Can All right. Want a drink? Come on. Real want a drink? Yes. And give me some of that uh, amyl nitrate you take to relax your colon, whatever that is. He should be wearing the relaxed T-shirt. Yeah. I need a relaxed T-shirt. <laughs> Sam. Yes. Gilbert. <laughs> yes. Young MC. Your army is here, Howard. All right. The problem is, the problem is that when you go to sell your house, you know what an ad in a newspaper would cost? 400 500 600 They give it to you for one day, the uh -huh. ad. They won't put a picture of your house next to it. If you want to sell your house, you can do it with the Real Estate Buyers Network. I can't Network. even find my article on Newsday. Listen, what everyone... Exactly. What yep. everyone dials... Papers are useless. They're useless. Thank you, Sam. 1-800-543-SOLD. Yeah, like us and he could go do a commercial. 1-800-543-SOLD. Like That's right, production Howard. company. 1-800-543-SOLD. Would you call them now? No commission, no gimmicks, no other costs. A one-time fee. Let me say that... Uh, well, I thank you for letting me get, get through that. Again. All right. right. 38 degrees. <laughs> Sam Kinison is here. He's going to be at the Nassau Coliseum Saturday. Yes, Saturday night. Are there any seats left? I can't imagine that there are. I don't know. I don't, I don't keep trapping on it. Jessica Hahn called in yesterday and said there were plenty of seats there left. There probably are. This, I probably haven't sold two. <laughs> you sold plenty. I don't know. You have sold plenty. As dice a matter rules. of fact, uh, dice rules. Right. I don't know. Right. I don't know. Will this be an anti-dice concert? No. no. It's only material. Well, I'm a prolific guy. That doesn't mean rubber either. Gilbert's here. I know. Oh, Gilbert's one of my heroes. I'm sure Gilbert's promoting something. Somebody was telling me about me, that nah. Kurt Valheim bit that you do. Oh, yeah. I was dying. It's great. Yeah, it's they said great. it was great. Thank he's like, you. They, they, he's like, tell the Nazis, stop, you Nazis, stop. But you know, Sam, <laughs> nobody's as good as you. Uh, no, 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 there we go. I've no, seen your show. Sam. I've seen your show every Friday night. I'm your biggest fan. But can I tell you I something? I love you. Jerry, I love you. I don't go out and watch comics, says a rule. Okay. But you know something, Sam? I'll watch you anytime. You know that, Sam? All right, now, Gilbert. Now, listen, we're going to attempt to do something. I'm working Saturday, too. Where are you working? Bottom line. Wow, cool. Yeah. Well, I'm way out in like you. Right, yes. different shows. Different, different shows. Different audience. I get all the metalheads. It's me and the dice different man. Different audience. I think. Ah, yeah. There you go. There's no, a bottom bill. line, two shows. There's a double bill. This Saturday. Now, Gilbert, do you have? No, like, I made my plug. I'm getting Sam, out of here. Sam has an enemy. <laughs> Sam ha is an enemy of dices. Now, are, do you have any enemies in the comedy well, I don't community? I've left a lot of choice. What about the Gilbert you know, Gottfried? I support this guy. What about the Gilbert Gottfried Jerry Seinfeld war? Is that still going on? You and Jerry are like it. Hey, you know something? I tell you. I'm standing behind the podium. <laughs> I, you could say anything if you're behind the podium. <laughs> <laughs> Very good bit, Jerry. All right, anybody else? Uh, uh, thank guy God now. Gilbert likes me. Thank you, God. Thank you. Hey, man. <laughs> oh, the Sam impression. Oh, no. Hey, man. Open the door. <laughs> I opened the door. Hey, dude. <laughs> hey, dude. <laughs> I opened the door, didn't I? <laughs> yes, he did. <laughs> Ten in front of nine o'clock. Now, we're going to attempt to do the news. I'd like to see Sam uh, and Jackie talk to each other for a while. <laughs> hey, man. What is it? <laughs> hey, man. Know any good jokes? Well, a guy goes into our house. <laughs> hey, that's a funny joke, man. <laughs> you don't know any others, dude. All right, now, Gilbert. To a prostitute. Gilbert. <laughs> Now, Gilbert, we're going to attempt to do something here. <laughs> Sam is here and you're here. Yes, yes. And we can comment Two on the, the news. Two demagogues. demagogues now, <laughs> the Real Estate Buyers Network commercial didn't work out too well. You're really going to do this to me. Well, how else we get... I want to know what's going on. Do so okay, yes, yes. Yes. Just hang in there. Oh, okay. Well, I'm not going to do it the way I intended to do it oh, before yeah. they got here. Yeah, right. I don't know what I'm going to do. We'll improvise. All right, Ryan White's funeral was yesterday. That'll calm him down. Oh, yeah. Let's see you make a see, joke about that, see, Gilbert and Sam. Hit him with a funeral, Robin. Yeah, right. Yeah. <laughs> and, of course, Elton John was there. <laughs> With a fez. Oh, you're really baiting us now, aren't you? <laughs> <laughs> I, I got one. I got one. Did you see it on the news? No. It was, was like, in Pittsburgh. It was they the, don't get anything for like a week <laughs> later. Yeah. It'll be on the news it's in a week. It's delayed in Yeah. He's still and alive in Pittsburgh. I dig what Elton John did, Robin. Don't get me wrong. But I said he wouldn't wear the fez. Yes. And, and he I wore it. I was shocked. Yeah. 
What's the fest? What's that? He wears his hat. Graduate. Actually, he wore like a captain's outfit. Like a... Yeah, it looked like a military. You know how those oh, lieutenants in the army have those funny <laughs> looking <laughs> folded hats? Yeah. It looked like that, only it had jewels on it. He, he dressed up like that for a funeral? Yes. It was oh, weird, too, because the kid's that's, that's mom... Rude. The kid's mom was like... This was like the saddest day of her life and also the happiest day of her life. <laughs> because it was like, like all she these celebrities... Did she have book out or something? Yeah, right. I mean, it was like... This is a horrible day, but at the same point, Michael Jackson's sitting next to her. It was the best of times. It was the Look worst of times. Look at her smiling. Times. Yeah, because well, yeah, that's, that's the part where Michael Jackson's sitting next to her. Wow, that's bizarre. It's, just yeah. we it's a weird thing. Michael was sitting in the row with the family. Yeah, he was sitting next oh, to the mom. Oh, Oh, man. I mean, that's like the closest... Shriner's meeting, doesn't he? Is it a Shriner's meeting? <laughs> Look at that. Look at that. It's like a gay Shriner's yeah. meeting. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, with that shock of blonde hair coming out of there. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's definitely a weird look. Oh. I hear Dice did 15 minutes at the wake. Really? <laughs> <laughs> hey, what are you saying that he's dead? <laughs> what are you really upset? The guy's a corpse now, all right? <laughs> oh, <yeah>. oh, <laughs> hey, what are you mourning his passing? <laughs> hey, lady, what are you going to do? <laughs> hey, what are you mourners doing? Are you with each other? <laughs> Hey, I think you're really upset because the guy's dead, huh? <laughs> Who's going to mow your lawn through no. your bush? Oh, <laughs> oh. What? <laughs> Little Miss Muffet sat on a top end. <laughs> I got plenty of rhymes for you. <laughs> sorry that he's dead. I'm sorry your son's dead, lady, but Little Miss Muffet sat on a top end. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, you'll be haunted by nightmares of his death. But little Miss Muffet sat on a top end. <laughs> that was the guy you wanted to wait. Yeah, nice. yeah, oh, yeah. Man. Hey, girl, are you with those two guys? <laughs> are you upset about his death? Hey, confide on this, all right? Hey, my wife saw me for palimony, all right? All right. You think you got problems? You yeah. think you got? I got palimony. Who cares that this guy's dead? Yeah, well, he doesn't have to pay palimony. Fortunately, he wasn't there. That's Little true. Miss Muffet sat on a duffet. Anyway, Elton yeah. John was one. I think oh, it's God. funny because they, you know, it's very rare that you see people's yeah. outfits described right. at a funeral. Yeah. Hey, Elton, what are you, a homo? Oh, no. <laughs> hey, this guy, oh, Elton no. John, he's a big homo. <laughs> <laughs> Somewhere young and see still on the line. <laughs> hey, got this guy, Elton John, that guy's a major homo. <laughs> Little Miss Muffet sat on a top head. So, Gilbert, you're saying that uh, it was inappropriate the way Elton John dressed for yes. the years. Maybe that's why they described it. He's dressed here like a paper. queen. <laughs> the guy dresses like a big homo. Hey, Elton, where'd you get that hat? Hey, yeah. Where'd you get that hat? Huh? <laughs> Who made that Halston? <laughs> hey, Elton, are you with those guys? <laughs> Hey, Elton's a pretty good guy, though, to do yeah, all yeah, that. He hey, you're a pretty good guy to do that, but you're a big homo. <laughs> he sat by the guy's bed for a week, Howard. He did. Yeah, with good reason. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. Well, now, Gilbert, of course, you don't feel that uh, way. No. I don't feel that way. <laughs> Not you, no. no Not the dice, the dice character. Yeah. The maybe, dice Gilbert should, maybe Gilbert should take over the dice persona. I think so. Yeah, He's really. Good it's pretty at funny. It. Yeah, he it makes it work. Yeah, He's yeah. got material. I laugh at this. Yeah, yeah right. You know, <laughs> if dice was to do it, it would be like, yeah. It's on his new album, The Day the Laughter Died. Right. Yeah. Oh, dear. Anyway, the pallbearers included hey, Elton John. Hey, it is. All right. <laughs> Long the football player. Yeah. Hey, how long is it? All right. <laughs> <laughs> Little and, Miss Muffet sat on a top end. And Phil Donahue. <laughs> Donahue was there. Yeah. Wow. yeah. He's everywhere. Yeah, he's now, everywhere. Jessica was there too. Now Jessica was at the hospital. Oh. With Elton stay John. For the funeral. No, she couldn't. Oh, too bad. You I know, could... I thought about that yesterday too because you know they they did focus on every known person. I know, but her. Audience. I was looking in the press. And uh, Jessica would have been prominently displayed. I never, oh, yeah. I never saw anything about her in the press anyway. I mean, she, she no, she there. didn't get any press out of it. But you know Amazing. what's weird? It's like, and I've had this discussion with Jessica. She doesn't understand why I'm having the discussion. She doesn't want me discussing her finances. But she flew there, and she's, you know, she's, she's got to watch her money now. Yeah. And she made a, 
I'm not saying nothing. She made a... <laughs> I'm a kinder, gentler Sam. Let's go on with the news. Let's just go on with the news. Let's, let's not even... Right, well, right. Let's well, go on with the news. What are you trying to say? All right, anyway, I mean, just in, mem in memory of Ryan, because he was yes. an incredible little boy. He was. Right. Right. Let's listen to a little bit of Skyline Pigeon, which Elton sang oh, at yeah. the ceremony. Yeah, hold like, my Skyline Pigeon. pigeon. Yeah, right. <laughs> Here's a pigeon for you. <laughs> <laughs> Hold on to this pigeon. All right, here's Scott. Hey, hey, Dice, try to calm down over there. <laughs> That's my <Hey>. pigeon impression. <laughs> this is Elton performing. Okay. Elton does make you cry, though, with his songs. Yeah, the, you know, it's, it's You play a funeral for a friend. Why do the I kid... smell set up here? Yeah. Right, there we go. <laughs> right, I fell for this last time I was here. All right, here we go. <laughs> to laugh and cry, to live and die, in the brightness of my age. <laughs> Little Miss Muffet sat on a toffee, <laughs> eating her curves and rags. <laughs> hey, Elf, you want to quiet down? What is this guy, a corpse? What's the matter with him? <laughs> hey, lady, are you crying? Who was that, your son? Hey, too bad, all right. <laughs> hey, I really feel bad, okay? Are you with those two guys? Oh, God. Hey. Here's a stiff for you right here. <laughs> yeah, yeah, cry over this stiff, okay? All right. <laughs> All right. Some funeral. <laughs> yeah, I can't believe Dice interrupted Elton John's song. Oh, God. Hey, now, uh, Michael Jackson did a song also. We have that tape. Oh, we do? Yeah. Black man. Black man. Nah, I, he didn't perform. Oh. But uh, it was weird because... I, mean, I felt good for the kid, at least, because... Well, uh, suffering's over. He's suffering's over. Yeah. He's in a better place. He's in a better place. Everybody said sure. that. He's with our Lord, Savior, Jesus Christ. Yeah. Well, well, who is over at the end of that tunnel that everybody sees? It's always <laughs> like, you know... It's a big white tunnel. It's a big tunnel, a little white light. Is a little white light, light. Yeah. Savior yeah. figures. Yeah. Okay. You actually end up in joke land when you go at the end of that. At least that kid's where Fred can't scare him. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> I felt, but you know, it really got to me though. This AIDS thing has got to end. We've got to find a cure, Robin, this weekend. Hey, this weekend, end. we're going right. to work all. <laughs> all of my you're on vacation next week. All of my concerts are going there. Oh, boy. What was that, Dice? <laughs> hey, what do I care? A bunch of homos are getting the disease. Oh, no. <laughs> right. Okay, Dice. Hey, what are those guys with those guys? <laughs> <laughs> all right, let's take a break. It's great to have him here doing this. Yeah, it is. I love it. me off the hook totally. I'm going, yeah. Go, go, we're go. Yeah. Expose him, expose him. All of a sudden, like, me and Sam look like good guys. Yes. You know? Yes. Gilbert, who's the you, nasty You've absolved one. us. You've absolved us. This is an absolution for us. All right, let's take a break. We'll come back and do more news. I love this. It's hard to get through, but I love it. <laughs> hey, how you doing? This is... I hope I handled this commercial while Grand Central Radio complained that I wasn't doing... <laughs> Load. Oh, no. yes. Load, aim. Now, uh -huh. Robin, I need your help on We're this. We're here. <laughs> I headed right back as soon as I heard the music. So, suddenly, I'm looking sane. Uh, yeah. The clean and sober boys. <laughs> oh, <yeah. laughs> Let me talk to you about something serious. Yes. yes. Of course. Yes. yes. Okay, good. We're the yes. guys. Oh, good. Dr. Godfrey just entered the uh, building. Yes, yeah. yes, yeah. yes, yes. Right. Yes. He's what is serious it? Gilbert. Yeah, serious. What is bothering you? <laughs> Let me ask you, how long do you think, seriously, Gilbert, how long do you think Sam will remain straight? Well, you know, Sam is a vulnerable person, <laughs> to say the least. He's got a vulnerability in a sensitivity, but he's an artist. He's an artist. Right. And he's, an artist uh, needs uh, hallucinatory drugs. And, 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 and that myself. means thank how you, long? You. How long for the sobriety, Dr. Gilbert? He needs an occasional bowel movement on a rug. I don't know. I think so. <laughs> yeah, or in the bed. <laughs> <laughs> Grand Central, you, I was over Sam's yes. house. I've never been to Gilbert's apartment because I understand it's frightening. And Gilbert won't allow you to come in. All my, all my stolen uh, magazines, my love magazines, are all over Gilbert's apartment. We have a new batch for you, Gilbert. Yeah, we have yes. more magazines. Oh, you got to see the photos on Howard Stewart. Oh, yeah? Have you seen those? Oh, oh, I've seen the photos. Oh, he's got a collection. I'll be, I'll be back. <laughs> Look, I saw some beautiful stereo equipment in your house. Thank you. And beautiful televisions. Thank you. Now, televisions he, hooked into speakers. Yes. He means this. This is not leading into a commercial. Gra hooked into yeah. laser discs. Yeah. Hooked into speakers. Sam got all that equipment over Grand Central Radio. That's right. No kidding around. He flies into New York. Now, why do you think Sam Kinison flies to New York? He can buy I that stuff. I rent a plane to fly this stuff back. In all seriousness, this is the place. On MGM Grant. I have my actual seats on the plane for the speakers. This is, this is the But you are unconscious at the time. That was the problem. <laughs> well, he was using You drugs. didn't know you were flying. You thought you were flying to Missouri. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he doesn't 
doesn't fly the equipment on MGM now. No, he doesn't. <laughs> He's come to his senses. He used to fly the equipment and the other outlaws of comedy all on the MGM. Uh... He used to buy everybody a seat. I know. And then Sam's oh. like, well, how come I can't pay my mortgage this month? What's going on? I know, man. Oh. Anyway, at Gilbert's apartment, you will find... Women with pentagrams <laughs> carved in their bellies. All hooked into. No. Yes. All hooked into beautiful equipment. <laughs> Grand Central Radio is very serious. I, I fly into New York to put the pentagrams in their bellies. This is the only place that I know of that you can get. What? Nakamichi, oh, see, Nakamichi yeah, Bang & Olufsen, Yamaha, Den & Mitsubishi, Proton, Sony, ES, Pioneer, Laser Vision, NEC, Altec, Lansing, Dalquist. We didn't start the fight. Oh, Cirque high. FM antennas. <laughs> Arthur Gold delivers a great price and much, much more. That's at Grand Central Radio, <laughs> Billy Joel 155 East 45th Street, <laughs> just off 3rd Avenue, or call 682-3869. He's the best. Can we do that Billy Joel song to those speakers? Clan <laughs> ring. Let me talk about this. Let me. Lojack for rings? You know what a Lojack is? You guys know? Yes. What is it? Um, it's uh, some, some kind of sponsor that right. you have to sound sincere about. <laughs> Very good, Bill. Gilbert, you're right. You should have asked me. You know what a Lojack is? I've got the answer. What Howard. is it? It's a, it's an, a device that the uh, a company will put in your car that if your car is stolen, that police uh, uh, authorities and officials. Teacher's pet. Teacher's <laughs> pet. <laughs> is that right? Am I right? You're right, Sam. Oh, thank you, Howard. Sam is good. Gilbert is bad. Sam That's good. Right. Gilbert bad. Gilbert this bad. is like highlights. Goofus and, uh, what was it? Goofus and Gallant? Yes. Goofus is bad. Goofus Gallant. goes to his mom's house and eats cookies before dinner. Oh, Gallant oh, helps his Goofus. mother with the table. Remember, That's remember right. that from Highlights Magazine? Yes. See? I'm a kinder yeah. gentleman than Sam. Hey, Sam. I used to steal cars when I get drunk and high. Is that what you're going to ask? No, I'm saying that oh. you wouldn't want a low jack in your car because your car's always getting mashed up. Yeah. And you don't want <laughs> the police. Hard to find. You don't want the police coming around. It's called a dealership. But the right. But the thing is that the low jack device. Well, car Sam's never driving his car anyway. I'm always on no. the passenger side. Me and Ted Kennedy on the passenger <laughs> side. Yeah, right. Low jack. Passenger side, brothers. <laughs> yeah, it is. Like, you know, Sam's becoming like Ted Kennedy. Yes. <laughs> but low jack yeah. is uh, unbelievable. Yeah. What it is, New Jersey has unbelievable car thefts. I mean, it's just going on constantly. Isn't it one of the highest uh, yeah, rates in the nation? That's what now it will no longer be high because, you see, like you, Sam, it will no longer be high. <laughs> because, that's right. Because... Well, Jack is clean and sober. That's right. You How know, many Ted, days? How many days? Ted Kennedy's uh, clean and sober, too. <laughs> Only does amyl nitrate. That's it. Uh, <laughs> well, I believe that about you. Oh, you want to take yeah. my one buzz away from me. My one little buzz. That in the dentist office. There's a, lot of guys, there's a lot of guys saying that you won't remain straight because as long as you need amyl nitrate. Oh, I don't need it. It's just... It enhances, it's like a door, Sam. It enhances it's the, door the sexual open. moment. Yeah, but they're saying that that's like... Who are they? What are their names? What are their meetings? Where do they go? Who are these people? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, who are these people who are saying that I need amyl nitrate? <laughs> I don't need amyl nitrate. I enjoy it. It enhances the sexual moment. That's right. <laughs> you can quit any time you want. Okay, we don't you see got every comic in the world here. It's I like know. a comic convention here. Thank you, Jerry. Yeah, thank you. And thank you, Dice. Hey. <laughs> All right, anyway, listen to me. Low Jack, you can get it now in Jersey. Forget about car alarms. Last time you heard a car alarm go off, what did you do? Nothing. No. Yeah, because you just thought somebody had bumped up against right. it or, you know, some... This, the cops have in their car, and they can track it down. That's it. It's done uh, with. You report your car, they track it down. 1-800... And this is silent alarm, right? So the thieves don't, actually don't know. Right. Oh, they don't know what's going on. they're being tracked by the police. Right. 1-800-95-LOJACK. Wow. Just call them. 1-800-95-L-O-J-A-C-K. 1-800-95-LOJACK. <laughs> well, you're yeah. getting right through these, man. I yeah, got, I'm proud of you. I'm doing it, man. I'm getting... You gotta be like a drill in bore, right? We're doing the news, <laughs> and after the news, Robin, yeah. Sam will address Corey Fel the Corey Feldman issue. Oh, What's going on with that? Definitely. You got some new stuff on that? No. We, no, we want to ask you what you know. Oh, great. And yeah. then um, hey. after that... Um, I know he gave my name to People Magazine. I don't want to thank him for that. We'll discuss Sam's Letterman appearance oh, for, yeah. for tomorrow night. Great. We'll also we mention... Call Dice's wine. ...that uh, Gilbert's at the bottom line Saturday bottom night. Bottom line. Yeah. Sam's playing Nassau Coliseum Saturday night. Get yeah. your tickets Nassau now. Nassau Coliseum. Thank you. <laughs> and you know uh, something, Sam? I'm going to be at your show. Oh. Because <laughs> you'll you do great. You'll sell out. you got a big following, man. You're a major. 
This guy's a major artist, you know. Oh, I know. Yeah, but I don't I, know any comic that doesn't you. give it to him. He's a and comedian, then you're, comedian that goes. That's what we always hear, like all the yeah. comics go, he's a comedian. He's, a lot of the audiences might not get him, man, but the comics <laughs> all stand around and just observe and pray Gilbert to him. Gilbert and Shecky Green. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Hey, you, that's a Broadway <laughs> show right there. Gilbert, Gilbert have you ever heard that about yourself? Seriously, yes. have you ever heard that about yourself? Like you guys? had to have heard that. Me and Gene Balos. <laughs> right. I'm a comedian's comedian. <laughs> yeah, meanwhile, he's the comic's comic, but he doesn't get laid. Yeah. That's all the problem. <laughs> I've heard that. I've heard that rap given to a lot of comics. But he really does. Yeah. He, li he lives up to it. I mean, he does. He, he's got that. <laughs> he does really. I saw. Like a, I saw one night. This was unbelievable. Gilbert was on stage and he healed a crippled child. Wow! Like, wow! Where's, Too bad Ryan White wasn't there, huh? <laughs> That's right. Where's dinner? I mean, right, you know, you we're doing Gilbert healed. tribute. Yeah, right. When do we get food? Mm -hmm. And he never had a dinner. <laughs> <laughs> you are. Uh oh, Red Buttons is here. Gilbert Gottfried, who was on stage, and he never had a dinner. <laughs> <laughs> but Gilbert is a genius, a horny genius. A horny. <laughs> <laughs> and of course, the genius of Sam Kinison. Of course. All right. Course. The queen is sober genius. Thank you. Now, of course, we know that Ryan White died of AIDS. Yes. He was a genius. <laughs> <laughs> and he died he of AIDS. He should have stayed horny. <laughs> 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 Dice, he got it because right. he got a blood sample yes. or a blood transfusion that was uh, contained the HIV virus. Yeah, Dice. Yeah. All right? Yeah. He didn't get it hey. that other way. <laughs> now, meanwhile... Oh, he didn't get it by being a homo. No. No, <laughs> no that's what... a big homo. <laughs> right. That's what I was trying no, to avoid no. saying. Thank you. Over in Canada, New Jersey, however, Howard, yep. there's an inmate, and I don't know how he got the old age. Yeah. Blood transfusion. He was a homo. <laughs> right. But yeah, blood transfusion and my nose is just swollen for the day, okay? <laughs> but at some point in time, during his incarceration, yes. oh, he tried to attack a corrections officer oh. by biting him. You know, ah. he threatened the ah. corrections hey, officer. Bite then this, he bite this, all right. <laughs> then, That's how you got the AIDS virus in the first place. <laughs> <laughs> then he bit the corrections officer and said, die, you pig. Really? Oh, so, uh, they what took a lethal him to weapon. Court. That's a lethal yes. weapon. Yes. Sounds like Sam's first wife. <laughs> Actually, the first wife was good. The second wife. The second wife. Okay. They took him to court, and he was accused of attempted murder. <sighs> and the other day, a jury found him guilty. They yeah, did. Yeah, but is he, was he already in there for, like, some major time in the first place? Yeah, he was serving time for something. Yeah. And then he decided so he, he got AIDS, and then he decided yeah, to he use... Yeah, he he's on a clock. You know, he's right. On, yeah. He's he used out of his teeth as a lethal weapon. Wow. So what are they going to do with this animal? It I would defang him. <laughs> right. Take <laughs> out all his teeth. <laughs> Pull his teeth. That's right. <laughs> Have his teeth pulled. <laughs> <laughs> but this was a precedent-setting case. Are you using? Is you? Do you become a lethal weapon <laughs> yes. when you have eight? Doctor Godfrey, there goes the teeth. Ah, uh, well, uh, I treated Gary for a long time. Because <laughs> Gary's teeth are uh, registered with the government. I see that guy with no teeth. I see that guy with no teeth in prison going. Thank you, prison. <laughs> You to death. I'll come you. I'll spit in your pores. Get over here. Well, he'll be sentenced on May 18th, and you recommend... Yeah, to a dentist. <laughs> a good dentist. Uh, Without anesthetic. Uh, oh! okay. What an animal, I swear. Oh, man. No teeth in jail. He'll have a lot of friends. <laughs> Speaking of animals, Howard. Thank you, Rob. In Tampa, Florida... A man uh, there named With AIDS. Lawrence Singleton. <laughs> Remember that name? Lawrence Singleton. Of course I do. Well, He's who a man with he? AIDS and no teeth in Florida. No. He played Boom Boom Washington in <laughs> Welcome Back Carter. No, that was somebody else. No. Oh. This Lawrence Singleton should uh, be remembered by you because he's the vicious animal who raped that 15-year-old girl who was hitchhiking and then lopped off her arm. Ooh, I remember that. And guy. her legs. Oh, sure. Yes. Not her legs, her arms. Isn't that the girl who wants to seriously be on dial -a date no, no, no. That, that was a girl who was buried alive. <laughs> that was another she girl. She wants to be on oh. dial a date? Yeah. yeah. Wow. <laughs> no, this little... You remember this girl. They, he left her for I dead. Love New York. Uh. <laughs> cut off her arms. Right. Threw her in a ditch somewhere. She crawled out of the yeah, ditch I remember with that. her no arms. Wasn't it in California? Yes. And then wandered, you know, finally got picked up by somebody naked with no arms running down the road. Ooh. Guys, you wrote a poem about her, didn't you? <laughs> hey, little Miss Muffet. <laughs> <laughs> and it was a horror because she couldn't hitchhike, remember? Oh, yeah. <laughs> And oh, so she's going to get home. Yes. Oh, man. Well, the show anyway. has no conscience. The show with no conscience. <laughs>
He served eight years and four months of a 14-year sentence, and then they had to let him out. Explain that to me. How does a man who yes, does that, that to he someone... He was rehabilitated. All right? How do I get his lawyer's number? Hasn't this man suffered enough? Why don't we leave this man alone? He did something wrong. He said he was sorry, and he paid the price. All right, you're now right. He's rehabilitated. Okay, now leave him alone. What has he done now, Robin? Well, they picked him up in Florida for shoplifting. At the Burt Reynolds Dinner Theater. <laughs> yeah. All right, it's one thing to rape a girl and chop her arms off, but shoplifting, uh, that's going too far. <laughs> that affects the market. Yeah, yeah right. <laughs> You know, people are trying to make a living. That's right. Because it's going to cost more for items in that store now. He was at the far more... <laughs> far more everybody thing. pays. You do a crime yes. like that, everybody pays. <laughs> Meanwhile, she can't shoplift. No. <laughs> See <you> there? <laughs> oh, my God. It's ironic. Right. Isn't that ironic? <laughs> ironic. <laughs> well, he was at the far more drugstore, I guess, the other day, mm -hmm. and uh, he was... He was buying an axe. He was spotted. <laughs> he was shoplifting an axe. I don't know what he was planning, but Howard, but he was uh, shoplifting a disposable camera. Whoa. They saw him tucking that under his arm. Another mm. thing she can't ah. do. Next to the chainsaw. <laughs> and trying to exit the store without paying for it. Oh, oh boy. The death penalty. The slow. death penalty. <laughs> now I know why he chopped up. Death penalty. Hang death him. penalty. Yeah. Those things cost an arm and a leg. And yeah. so that's why he was chopping off people's arms. <laughs> Well, let's get this guy. Let's get this guy back in jail forever. Yeah, bust him up. Well, he's living down in Tampa, Florida now. That's where they finally were able to stash him. Or you know, they kept him trying to find Northern California <laughs> communities keep him out of for him to live in. But every time the people Florida. found out he was there, they ran him out of town. Put a low jack yeah. in his Nobody hair. Nobody wanted him in their town. How long did he actually serve? He, um, it was eight years That's and enough. four months. Oh man, how? What? How is that possible? I don't. I don't get it, man. The girl didn't die. Oh. Well, pity on, shame on her, huh? Yeah, right. She didn't yeah. die. That's she didn't bleed to death. To so. yeah. What's wrong with you, lady? <laughs> <laughs> Lay there, don't get I up. think it's in a lot of ways worse not if to have any arms and live. Lady Gilbert, how would you have defended this man? Well, <laughs> who is he, Sandy Barron? You keep giving him situations. <laughs> it's like Second City in here. All yeah, right. right. <laughs> all right, Gilbert, you improv. I'll throw up the situation. <laughs> you do it. Yeah, right. And Sam gives it to Gilbert, like, yeah. okay, All what right, would you Gilbert, do? Gilbert, what would you do? Gilbert, Gilbert you're, a defense, you're a defense attorney, okay. and I'm Sam Kinison. Go ahead. Now, it's Philadelphia, right. and you're a peanut. Right, and Mike Douglas is the peanut. And you're in a singles bar. Right. <laughs> you're an astronaut, you're a cowboy, you're a peanut, you're in a singles bar. <laughs> so anyway, he moved to Tampa, Florida, and is supposedly living with relatives now. Wouldn't that be a picnic, having this guy for a relative? Right. But anyway, um, he's not in jail. <laughs> Sam's living next door to him in Malibu. Yeah. <laughs> he just bought Sylvester yeah, Stallone's place. Yeah, Martin Sheen. That was a nice Martin Sheen. <laughs> yeah, we want all the homeless to come out here. Yeah, great. Yeah, you yeah, just spent $2 million homeless. and he wants homeless. Yeah. All right, I give up. I can't get through a story. Go ahead. <laughs> Keep going. He has to be in court on May 2nd. Yeah. Another animal in the news this morning is Julio Gonzalez. He was in court yesterday, and somehow or other... That was Bill Dana's old character. <laughs> no, that was Jose Hello, Dana. my name is Julio Gonzalez. <laughs> no. Hello, Mr. Steve Allen. <laughs> You're confused, Gilbert. <laughs> <laughs> this is the guy who started the fire in the Happy Land Social Club that killed 87 people. And we found out yesterday he can't get 2,000 years for this crime, Howard. No. Because all of the people died in one incident. Let me ask you something. <laughs> what if he lives 2,000 years? <laughs> he won't get it anyway. They can only give him 25 to life. Or let's say he lives. Life? Amazing. They can only give him 25 to life. Yeah, wow. Jim Baker gets 45 years. Hey, that's justice? weird. That is Where's weird. Where's the justice, man? That is kind of weird. Isn't that bizarre? If you take somebody's money. Yeah, and use the Lord's name. Then you, you get 45 yeah. years. But yeah. if you take someone's life, 87 of them. Yeah, 25. You could be out in 25 years. Yes. Yeah. Probably less, 10. Right, he could serve, you yeah, know, third. time Basically, off for good behavior. Basically, he could get out for a third. I third liked what he wore in the courtroom, Robin. Didn't I you? think he's still setting fashion trends. Yeah, he had a three-piece suit with no, no shirt. No shirt, yeah. That had to impress the judge. You know, the vest, <laughs> I think, you know, the only thing missing was the gold chains. Are they out? Yeah, I think what he said to himself, he said, you know, why bother wearing a shirt? I don't think I'm getting out of this. <laughs> I don't think anybody's going to be impressed right. that I wore a suit. You think, like, could you see him with the lawyer? Do you think if I wear a shirt, I'll get less time? I don't think the jury's going to look kindly on me no matter what uh -huh. I do. Yeah. But he found some way to plead not guilty yesterday. So 
He pleaded not, not guilty. Yeah. Guilty. Oh, boy. <laughs> it's amazing uh, to me. What is it, insanity? <laughs> <laughs> well, that's what they're thinking about now. They're but. trying to determine whether they should use an insanity defense. Yeah, have some Twinkies for lunch. And no. this, you know. Where's Did Jack it? Ruby when you need him? <laughs> <laughs> you know, but I think he also might have been thinking, you know, that Lydia is not coming back to me now that I've done this. Yeah, right. So I better go find a new girl. I'm not wearing a shirt to court today. Yeah, well, right. Maybe we can get him on dial a date. <laughs> <laughs> hey, 87 people died. It's unbelievable. 25 But years. did he shoplift? <laughs> no. <laughs> See, he's not an animal like that other guy. See there? Another animal in the news, John Emil List. Mm. The jury oh. got that case yesterday. Oh, I like oh, what, that what's the word on this guy? Yeah. He's the accused family killer. I yeah. like that. The one who left the notes? Just happened to be his family. Yeah. yeah. Right. He wiped out his family and left a note that said, P.S., Mom is in the hall. I couldn't lift her. She was too heavy. Yeah. But he cleaned up after everyone. Well, at least the sentence was grammatically correct. <laughs> and now I saw that the, the lawyer is sort of trying to say that the guy's anal retentive, therefore... Obsessive compulsive. Hey, what are you, yeah. anal retentive? <laughs> <laughs> Judge hey, what's Dice. the matter? Go kill someone, you're anal retentive. Like, that's some kind of excuse. <laughs> yes, this man is sick, he says. He yeah. cleaned up. <laughs> yeah, yeah, he cleaned up and he slept there and ate three meals while the whole family was dead in the house. But yeah. the house was perfectly clean. Oh, he okay. Crazy. He's been good yeah. for 17 years. <laughs> That's more the reason to kill him. Yeah, exactly. Take yeah. out his teeth first. Shows he's sane. And he's got a black lawyer, doesn't he? Yes, he well, does. That's, yeah. a... that's when they really want to hang you. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. You know, if they want to save your life, they'll give you a Jew. If they want to hang you, they'll oh, give you a black lawyer. lawyer. Oh, like, well, I think the man is innocent. <laughs> <laughs> I feel in my years on the bench <laughs> that this man is innocent. <laughs> and uh, he is uh, innately uh, attentive. Yeah. <laughs> He has, an, uh, he has an attentive anus. And, uh, <laughs> <laughs> Who doesn't? Oh. All right, 921. Well, wait a minute. All yeah. I've got to say is here, I do get a word in here edgewise. <laughs> they thought the jury would come back quickly with a verdict. Right. And uh, so far they deliberated... <laughs> Four hours, which is surprised them. Say, where is them 12 white people? <laughs> <laughs> four Ready hours. Go. Now, why do they need four hours? Well, that's, that's what they've taken so far. They're still not finished. They must be partying. Maybe they had my limo driver. <laughs> <laughs> Took him a while to get here, huh? Oh, man. Yeah. Everybody oh, man. is surprised at how long it's taking. Yeah. So they'll be back deliberating today. All right, we'll take a break. We'll have some more news for you. Sam Kinison is here. He's at Nassau Coliseum uh, Saturday night. Yes. Should be fun. All-star band jam. The great Gilbert Gottfried. Bottom, bottom line. line. The great Saturday. Gilbert Gottfried. Saturday night. Saturday night. Bottom line. A sober Sam Kinison. This is going to be a whole new Sam Kinison you're going to be saying. I'm telling you. That's why I need your advice. It's all new material show. because Sam has never heard it. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> ah. Hey, Sam. Yes. <laughs> you certainly don't need my advice for the Letterman show. Well, no, but I, 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 didn't, I went on there last time. Listen, you're very the guy. Very cocky, very arrogant, thought I had it in the pocket. Are you nervous because this is the first time you're going on this straight? I mean, no. it's a, a sense of like, no, oh I never my God. depended on that stuff for any kind of, <laughs> any kind of stability. Right. I never needed the mic stand for balance or anything. Yeah, right. <laughs> so the thing is, is that will you go on and do some stand-up and then sit down? Yeah, that's the move. Okay. But I want, Yeah, exactly. We'll go over some things. We'll you know, right. figure it out. Talk to Dave. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I'm not saying nothing. Did they pre-interview you yet? You. Did they pre-interview you yet? Uh, yeah, I talked to Frank Gannon. You know who he is? <laughs> oh, good old Frank. Mr. Happy Land? Yeah, he's pretty good. Yeah. <laughs> Mr. Looks like he's going to set fire to a social club any day? <laughs> <laughs> Mr. I love comedy. It, 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 uh, it, wasn't he the guy who said to Dice, you don't need a leather jacket when you talk to Dave? <laughs> <laughs> Why'd you drop that character? Because Dave just wants to talk yeah, to the real he you. doesn't like characters. <laughs> yeah, right. Yeah. <laughs> Dave doesn't like characters. <laughs> <laughs> but the yeah, the thing is, is that um, did you tell Gannon what you wanted to talk about? Because that's his whole thing. Yeah, sure, of course. Oh yes, Sam. Uh, well, what, what, what have you decided on? Huh? <laughs> and uh, if Dave uh, asks you some questions, uh, what can he talk to you about, Sam? What's been going on? Do you have some answers? Some funny <laughs> answers you can give him? Uh, <laughs> yeah, I, this guy's unbelievable. This guy Gannon. This guy's a real card. He calls me up. Same thing. Um, what's been going on with you? I haven't been on in seven months. What do you mean, what's been going yeah. on with me? Let me get the computer so I can look it up. Give you a synopsis. Yeah, so then I go, well, hey, today I did some funny material on uh, Sammy Davis Jr. Oh, what was that? Well, I was talking about the thing on his neck looking like a hunk of roast beef or like a woman's private parts. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Mm -hmm. well, I don't know if Dave would like that. He goes, well, no, what he says to me usually is, uh, mm. I go, do you think that's funny? 
Yeah, but well, what else? What else is going on? Why don't you do the the other thing first, not second? Yeah, right. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, and then, uh, if, oh, the the other thing you want to do, put that in between the first and the second. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's it. Sandwich it. Yeah, sandwich it. And, and then if you have time, uh, do the other thing. Yeah, then you yeah. give him, and then you give him fifty topics. Yeah. And he goes, mm. "What else?" <laughs> like, you know, well, I mean, I'm only going to get six minutes. Does he ever give you the well, the roast beef is not your strongest stuff? Yeah. yeah. You know, yeah. <laughs> And then I'll say, you know, I heard you on the air the other day. You were talking about, what was that about Rolling Stone magazine? What are you going to be doing with that? Well, I go, well, I wasn't joking about that. I mean, that's something I want to be, well, why don't you talk to Dave about that? But I don't have any, uh... Funny stuff funny around stuff that. About, well, that's okay. Dave will, you know... <laughs> well, maybe he'll ask you about Rolling Stone. You can mention Sammy Davis Jr.'s neck. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's not fair. Notice I'd be, like, like, quiet as a church mouse. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> or actually, as a K-Rock mouse. <laughs> <laughs> because really, yeah, I don't know... It, those questions that Dave has on the blue card for you. They're, they're not all that funny. Yeah, it's like, just, let's just talk. Let me bring up stuff, I'll surprise you. Like a real <laughs> conversation. That's my, so what I do now is but, I write uh, up real stuff that I'm, I'm going to do. I'm taking notes. I'm just taking mental notes. You want to know what I do? Yes. I keep track of everything I want to do. Yeah. And then I give uh, Dave about five bogus questions to ask me that really I don't even want to talk about. So that's you should do. never gets what I should do. No, no. I say that works for me. Works. Oh, okay, works for you. Yeah, yeah it works for me. <laughs> <laughs> you want to take advice from a man with gas? Go ahead. <laughs> but the other thing I like is Dave doesn't like surprises, Howard. So tell me, tell yes. me what you're gonna do. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna break a pinata. Oh. Um, is that a problem? Well, you know something that I mean that is funny, but. Not with this audience. You want to take him? Like, you want to take Dan and just like you know, let let me and Dave come here, Frank. Come here for a second. <laughs> let me and Dave pretend we're two human beings for about five minutes, yes. actually having a real conversation. No, no. no, I don't think that's for us. <laughs> I just don't think it's for. No, us. I mean it is funny. Don't get me wrong. Right, I right. just don't. Think on your show, that's funny. on on your show. It, it, mm. Human beings could work, but uh, on ours. <laughs> <laughs> It's very, it's very harrowing, because yeah. I have to sit there and make up questions that... It's mind-wracking. Yeah, how hard is it to be an interviewer if guys are always <laughs> getting the questions for you ahead of time? <laughs> so what are you doing? You're going to stand up, and then what are you going to talk to Dave about? Stand up Give me your topics, and I'll tell you if they'll work. I'm going to go by uh, this afternoon for a little bit and talk to him. See what, what topics do you have in mind? Let's do the pre interview. Yeah. Huh? What are you going to do, Sam? Well, if I give them away now, though. Well, no, just give me the topics. Yeah, you're gonna, yeah but if I give them away in oh, the oh, air, oh, then you, people you will know you what I'm going to do. Well, that's, wait a second. You're going to say that to Frank Gannon. I don't want to tell you because you're going to only tell Dave. Then he'll say, just tell me. Tell oh, me. I won't tell Dave. Just tell Dave to ask me about Sammy Davis Jr. <laughs> but tell me what you're going to say. Just tell me. No, I, I want it to be spontaneous. I won't tell Dave. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, man, I tell you, I tell you. <laughs> Come on, this is the free. Like the, so what you're saying, he sounds like the computer in 2001, right? How, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Sam. It's the howl of coming, yeah. right? Sam. Dave's not here. Yes. Sam. <laughs> Sam. Yes. What do you want to do? <laughs> well, I, uh, <laughs> I really go on now and take some animal nitrate. <laughs> Man. <laughs> Is that what I sound like? Is that it? <laughs> All right, let's take, a, let's take a break. Let's take a break. It's like a, like a little singer with Leonard Skinner or something. <laughs> let's take a short break. Come back. Continue the news. Yes. Talk about the concerts. Get into Talk the about concerts. Letterman. Talk about Letterman. Man? You want the... <laughs> hey, man. Somebody smack my parrot. <laughs> Gilbert's here. Hey, you're smacking your parrot. <laughs> Gilbert, Making your monkey. Gilbert at the bottom line, the the brilliant comedy of Sam Kinison. Oh. Nassau Coliseum. Brilliant comedy. Yeah. Brilliant comedy. Let's see. Brilliant comedy. <laughs> oh, Nutrisystem. Oh, Nutrisystem. Good. I'm glad we can talk about this now. <laughs> this is an opportune time. Nutrisystem is a weight loss program. Great, man. <laughs> oh, no. Now he's going to do me. Oh, God. Hello, man. What the hell? What is it, Howard? Isn't this what Alan Thicke hired you for? To, uh... The Sam Kinison oh, Brothers. Yeah. Well, what are you trying to say, Alan? Up in the kit book. <laughs> Do your Sam Kinison imitation up in the kit book. <laughs> <laughs> you know, Nutrisystem is so good. You've seen Robin's body, yes. I take it. Uh, what Very. do you think? What do you think of the results? I want to do her. I've always wanted to do. I wanted to do her when you know she didn't have the spot. I still want her. Well, you know. But now, of course, it's an enhanced the desire. Because you like what you see. And I want to. I want to introduce the name on nitrate. Right. <laughs> A must for any of my blind days. Do you find you're doing more amyl nitrate now because it's the only thing you can do? Uh, no. I'm actually doing less. I'm down like two or three times a week. You know, after you had this discussion about amyl nitrate on the air with me, I checked with an MD yeah. to find out if that stuff's good for your yes. heart. 
And the MD, I, now you saw a different MD. You saw I saw a, a cardiologist from Beverly Hills. And it was the same cardiologist Elvis went to, I think. That's because, right. Uh, <laughs> Dr. Nick. <laughs> Dr. Nick's heart shop. <laughs> <laughs> because I'm going to tell you something. Body. Bring it in. We'll keep it pumping. That's our Let me tell you something. Uh, the guy I spoke to said the reason amyl nitrate came about yes. was to start the heart. See? For heart patients See? whose heart stops. Isn't that right. good? Right, and it's bad for hearts that are already beating. Yeah, if your bad. heart's beating, it will shock your heart. It's like trying well, what do you think love does, mister? It's like trying to start the car when the car's already running. Right, you, you know that noise. <laughs> now, Gilbert is on Nutrisystem. Yes. Oh, wow. But I'm That's a horny genius. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and Gilbert's goal is to disappear <laughs> off the planet Earth. Wow. Isn't it great being thin, Robin? Seriously. Yes, it is. You know, it's I only wish I could fun. be thin. I, lo I lose five pounds the way I diet, yeah. and I get a sore throat, I get sick, I get weak. Yeah, you got to eat to be healthy. Right. <laughs> but this is where this is where Nutrisystem system helps out, right? When because you, you can still walk eat and through a storm, <laughs> hold your head. Remember when Sam was? We, we went to dinner with Sam out in California. Yes. Right. Yes. So we go out and Sam goes to the Palm. You've been there, yeah, yeah, Sam goes. He's going to eat healthy tonight. So Sam so, so decides to order spinach, but it's like the spinach, the cream of spinach with tons yes, of butter and stuff in it. Yes, all the butter and the cream sauce and everything. Yeah. So Nutrisystem system would like you know. Yeah, they could make they would make a healthy yeah. cream of spinach for you. Oh, great! Do they have cream of spinach on Nutrisystem? system? Because Sam likes that. No. Oh. Well, tell him Popeye says, eat me! <laughs> <laughs> it was like, it, Sam was like Popeye after that. That's right. Mm. Da -da 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 -da. But seriously, Nutrisystem is so good. My sister Do just they have lobster on Nutrisystem? They have everything. Hey, here's a lobster for you. <laughs> <laughs> Doesn't it really work, though? It does. What did you have for, for breakfast this morning? For breakfast, I had muffins. Yeah. And then you had waffles muffins? yesterday. No, I had and pancakes yesterday. Pancakes? Pancakes. With syrup, oh, right? With syrup, yeah. Yeah, yeah now see, that would give me a heart attack. <laughs> <laughs> I'd have to take the amyl nitrate. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm good. I'm my back. I'm back. 1-800-321-THIN is the number you call. 1-800-321-THIN. Shouldn't you call? Now. <laughs> Wait a second. Oh, I'm sorry. Shouldn't you call? <laughs> finishing it. Let me do it. All, All right. right. <laughs> Shouldn't you call? That was better when you did it. Uh, somebody, just, <laughs> somebody just thought they went through the tunnel. <laughs> well, anyway. You are so thin now, it's unbelievable to me. I can't believe, I can't get over it. I'm surprised you guys haven't had an affair of some kind. We have. I keep oh. running out of the office. Uh, yeah. I keep, I keep pouncing well. on it. I remember. <laughs> She's so skinny now, she can actually put she her head between her legs. Oh, oh, God. What are you doing? Hey. Oh, I saw you doing it. Hey. It's because she's lonely. <laughs> oh. I wish I was as thin as you. I swear to God. My sister's even on it. You see how thin she is. Oh, I liked her before. I remember her. Yeah. Oh, she no, sister, now right? she's thin. <laughs> Gilbert. <laughs> Gilbert's having a party over there. He likes the joke man. Yeah. Is he Gilbert wants to go to joke land. You want to go to joke land and watch his wild party cassette. <laughs> 1-800-321-1-800-321-1-800-321-1-800-321-1-800-321-1-800-321-1-800-321-1-800-321-1-800-321-1-800-321-1-800-321-1-800-321-1-800-321-1-800-321-1-800-321-1-800-321-1-800-
Uh, you have a banana pie? Hey, give oh, me a mic. banana pie? I don't want banana pie. Uh, you have a beef taco, chicken taco, beef taco guacamole, taco. black bean soup. Sam, try it. You're the kind of shit. <laughs> well, yeah, but I mean, this would be for after, right? This is a banana yeah, pie. Yeah, you don't want to try that before the time. Oh, does that smell good? Now, what do we do? We make this ourselves? Yeah, you can make that yourself. Okay. Kind of what is he making? Yeah, give me the give me the basic taco, the beef taco. Yeah, making a taco. Cheese. With the tomato, a little tomato on it. What, what's on that taco? There's, uh... Oh, this is great. This Ooh, is probably this nice. the best Lettuce Mexican food mm. I've seen exhibited. Gary, check his green card. <laughs> <laughs> You're the owner of El Coyote? No, sir. I'm the manager. All right. Ah, All right, try that. Okay, right. Oh, here that we go. Looks beautiful. Doesn't that look nice? I sure knew this system would approve, right? <laughs> <laughs> oh, you can hear it? It's real food. Get first. close to the mic. Okay. How come he eats first? Yeah, what is this? What do you think? It's black beans. Oh, that's very good. Mm -hmm. <laughs> what do you think, man? Is that hot? That's great. Isn't it? That's great. Well, I have salsa outside. It's, you know. Ah. No salsa? Good. I should bring it in. Oh, oh, that's great. Okay. You want salsa on that? You want uh, no. salsa? No, that's right. Well, I, I like salsa, but, you know. Sam Kinnison is the heart patient today on Dr. Gilbert's show. You have a nice jacket also that you can bring me. Ah, <laughs> There's some great. guacamole for you, Gilbert. Hey, Sam, wash that down with a little amyl nitrate. <laughs> 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 oh, man. Gilbert, what do you think, man? Oh, it's very good. No joke. Isn't oh. this great? This is good. Is that the good? Is that okay. the good? Okay. Okay. for breakfast. I'm, I'm a <laughs> Why don't you give one to Dice and ask him if it's the goods? Oh, Hey, what, light? Is that a taco? Oh, oh, the salsa. Here's the salsa. Oh. Put we'll some break sauce off on. some of this. Hold on. We'll break off some of this. Oh, does this smell good? Yeah. El Coyote is the best restaurant. It's the best. The best. I'm not telling anyone where it is because... Uh, we want to keep it to ourselves. We want to keep them humble. Mm. <laughs> you guys make the salsa fresh, obviously. Yes. Very well, delicious. Try the salsa, Gilbert. Gilbert's not saying it, Whoa. but I know what he oh. likes. I know what he likes the best about it. It's what? free. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you schnurrer. <laughs> now, what's this? Hey, what's this stuff? That's the chips. Dude, try the this salsa. This is a chip? Yeah. And with the salsa, you eat the chips. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Mm. Scrump diddly Mmm. Hey, try the salsa. Just try the salsa, <laughs> Howard. <laughs> All right, let me try a little salsa. I mean, no. Salsa good. Gilbert, this is mm. the first Gilbert's been quiet today. All you have to do is yeah. eat yeah. Gilbert to shut up. Now we know to shut him up. <laughs> look, at, look at this banana pie, man. Right, let me have a little salsa. Is banana pie like a traditional Tex-Mex dessert? I never know. No. That guy doesn't speak English. Don't even ask him. <laughs> okay. Mmm, 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 mmm. Dude, are you heaven? Oh, it's hot. My you got the hot one, huh? Whoa. <laughs> a little guacamole. <laughs> See, this is the best advertisement, basically. It's actually us eating it. Man, it's yeah, you should do this every day. <laughs> Gilbert will be here every day. I never, thought about <laughs> yeah, right. I never thought about Mexican food for breakfast before. As a joke for our videotapes, uh -huh. John's out stealing this guy's hubcaps. <laughs> <laughs> That's our idea of a practical joke. And we're taping it so we'll win the contest. We're having a contest. Did we get the official entry blank? Yeah. Okay, we sent in our self-addressed stamped envelope. Mm. Help us right away so none of them. Excellent, ma'am. There we go. Mm. I'll take this. El Coyote. It's at, um... We'll keep the pie over here where it'll be safe. And on Broadway between 9th and 10th. El Coyote on Broadway between 9th and 10th. And also there's one in Jersey now. Where are you? Oh, it's going to be packed today. Where are you in Jersey? Uh, Ned Con. Road 46. Now, what is this it's stuff here? Why am I asking you? you? I don't know what the hell, the hell you're talking about. What did he say? <laughs> Who knows? Black bean. Black bean? What is this? This is like we fried beans? Yeah, black beans. Well, black beans, huh? I'm pulling... I just pull the chips away from ours. <laughs> They're fighting over the food. <laughs> What's going on in here? It's like an I, orgy. I was going to say, Howard, I've never seen you eat this much on the air before. It's really good. <laughs> hey, Gary, who said you could have? Well, well, I didn't really, I didn't think, I didn't think, I, 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 thought, I, thought, I, I thought there was food here, so. <laughs> <laughs> you know, Gary would be wherever the food is. Mm. El Coyote, by the way, Robin, what our uh, friend was saying is Netcong, Route 46, New Jersey. Ah, Here's well, the I'm telephone number for reservation, 1201-347-8415. Sam Kinison is here. El Coyote, yeah. You'll see him in Nassau Saturday night. And, of course, Gilbert Gottfried. Have they had them do cater? Yes, we do. Maybe we should have them cater the Nassau show for the backstage. Not line. a bad idea. Thank you. Seriously. El Coyote, numero oh, uno. Great, man. Numero uno, my friend. El Coyote. Now he understands you. Isn't that great stuff? You spoke his language. Yep.
Hey, did you have a guess? I can you know what El Coyote is Spanish for? What? Coyote. Oh. <laughs> I guess. I don't know. Uh -huh. What do I know about Spanish? I flunked. <laughs> I didn't pass that, that particular subject. Oh, dear. And boy, does it cost you later on in life, It huh? sure does, huh? You know, I really should have paid attention. Just hey, think, I would have known two languages. Just think how employable you would be right now. Yeah, right. I might have a real job. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. All right, let's get back to the news. You go down to Mexico as United States Johnny Carson of Radio. <laughs> <laughs> How come she's here? She's the Johnny Carson of Hispanic Radio. Yeah, she's What's here. she doing here? Yeah, what are we doing here? <laughs> but anyway, uh. Sam and Gilbert, you may notice that the cab cabbies are a little jumpy in New York right about this time. Because I've we have this used a jumpy cab. <laughs> we have this thing going on. Our cab drivers in the Bronx are uh, becoming the victims of some guy who just gets into the cab, calls for car service, gets into the cab and shoots people in the back of the head. So, what a rude uh, dish. Yeah, I'll tell you. <laughs> a fourth Bronx gypsy cab driver became the latest victim yesterday. Wow, that's rude. Man. Yeah. They're jumpy because they, they heard us the say money? green card. <laughs> 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 yeah, they usually rip them off to the tune of about 50 to to $100. Now, the police so are saying... So it's not like some kind of death wish this guy just has against cabbies, you know? Like, yeah, right. he's, he's getting big money. He needs he the money. Yeah, yeah, he needs the money. But uh, they say this latest victim is not a victim of the same guy who's been running around knocking off the cab drivers. And this guy is in a fight for his life. He is still alive right now in the hospital. Yeah. But, well, uh, Sir Gilbert wants to wish him well. <laughs> oh, Sam, will you stop trying to launch him like a guy did missile? I think, I think, I think he's a weird tipper. This guy who, uh, I think, I think. <laughs> Thank you. Is that what's going on here? Yeah, okay. yeah. Yeah, I've been trying. I'm just trying yeah, to understand. Keep this. Keep it. He's understand. wired on amyl nitrate. Keep it. Yeah, yeah. keep it. Yeah. Mother Teresa is retiring. Did you see this? That Mother little bitch. <laughs> Diggory diggory duck. Oh. Mother Teresa's ho. Oh, I can't say it. <laughs> Boy, did I ever rhyme. Yeah, I bet you did. <laughs> You're a genius. What rhymes with that? I'm a horny genius. But <laughs> 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 Pope John Paul II had one of his assistants, a Vatican spokesman. Hey, assist this, all right. <laughs> <laughs> announced that Mother Teresa is giving up her duties. Oh. Don't tell that to Sam. <laughs> yeah, that's right. <laughs> Would it be in a bed by any chance? Or on the floor. Is she a suspect in the cabbie shootings? Because now that she's retired, I think she's been around New York hailing cabs. No, she founded the Missionaries of Charity. <laughs> which was her order that uh, went around doing its charitable work, now staffed by 3,000 nuns. But uh, Mother Teresa's health has been failing over the last year, and apparently it's become too much for her. She's like Larry King. <laughs> I had to get my health together. Yes, yeah, she uh, needs to take some time off for herself. The good mother. <laughs> How's that food, guys? <laughs> <laughs> After all, she is 79 years old. I think the mice are back. I was going to say, if we want to get those the mice before the mice. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> the mice are going to love this banana pie. You got them back. Did you guys really have mice here? Yes, yeah. we did. Oh, yeah. dude, I freaked with mice. Yeah. Would you, like, would you see them like when you're doing your thing? But they looked a lot bigger to you. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> <laughs> they were bigger and had horns on their heads. <laughs> Gilbert, they did! <laughs> and only one more story. Yes, morning, Robin. Howard. Yes, yes. In William Norwich's column today, he says that Spike Lee was having dinner with actress Kim Bassinger. Wow. Or Bassinger, whichever way Probably you want to say it that, the other uh, day. Oscar speech, huh? Well, yeah. that was the first time he met Boy, her. Boy, she's with every she shot. That, <laughs> <laughs> after she made that great speech at the Academy Awards, I guess he became right the biggest on. fan. <laughs> right on. So uh, since this was uh, the second time, I guess, somebody had spotted them together, they questioned as to whether a romance was afoot. No, she's having a romance with Nipsey Russell. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> That's what she's after. She's after Nipsey. Sam spotted her in an alley with uh, Sinbad in Los Angeles. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just glad he dyed his hair back, you know. Yeah, yeah. That was a little oh, frightening. Hair, well, man. Spike yeah. says, tell your readers it ain't so. I don't want the wrath of 20 million Afro-American women who will now think I'm another black man who has gone astray. Yeah. Whoa. <laughs> yeah, they don't want to lose him. That isn't the case <laughs> at all regarding Kim Bassinger. It's completely platonic. All know. black women want him. Ugh. So uh, he just wants you to know, no, he's not going after white women, Howard. Maybe Kim's into a black thing because she's with Prince, and now she's like going for Spike Lee. Could be. Could be her thing, not his. Somebody uh, smell Gary Coleman's fingers. 
You know, no, I think, I think, I think she's after Webster. Think so? Oh, my God. <laughs> Michael Jackson's got him. <laughs> well, I mean, as a friend. Oh, as of course, a friend. of course. Yes. I don't mean it as a friend. Anyway. Mean. Yeah. <laughs> I spotted Kim Basinger with Antonio Fargus. Did you? <laughs> Huggy Bear. Huggy Bear, you mean? Yeah. From uh, Starsky and Hutch? Yeah. Really? So and, anyway. and also the guy from What's Happening. Hi, hi, hi. No, no. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> I just heard Kim Basinger in a hotel room, and I, all I could hear was, hi, hi, hi. <laughs> <laughs> So that's what's happening, folks. Hi, hi, hi. It's happening. Yeah, and I get it. That's what's happening. Hi, hi, hi. Hi, hi, hi. Yeah. <laughs> you want to get Kim Basinger? Um, Just yell out, Miss Benny. <laughs> hey, what's the deal though? Like, what was that all about? Like, because now she's with Prince. She thinks it's Spike Lee. I don't know. How, well, you know I don't everybody. Know how I, why are you looking at me? <laughs> Aren't you guys glad? I'm doing me now. I'm doing me. Aren't you guys glad you came in today, man? Oh, Look at the food. Blast, yeah. Man. Oh, yeah. Plus, and we haven't even got to the banana pie yet. That's gonna be. Cool. That's gonna be something. Mm -hmm. Because the side gonna have Chinese for lunch. This is right then. Gilbert, are you ready for uh, some banana pie? Yeah, this is like soupy sales. I'm gonna have my tuna fish sandwich <laughs> and some potato chips, and we can all have lunch together. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> that went far. <laughs> what did he call that? Soupy lunch time. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it was number one in the cars. <laughs> Anyway, uh, tonight's the, um, not tonight, but rather Saturday night's the big show. Oh, yeah. You're going to be there, right? Sam Kinison in Nassau Coliseum with uh, All-Star Band backing got him your up. Marshall, we got your Marshall stack ready. I will be there game. playing. Jamming with the best. You're going to do lead. Yeah. I would like to play a lead to... You're going to uh, do a solo. I would like to do that, yes. <laughs> I'm telling you, I can work with you. We can do it. I can work with you. If you don't mind me messing up a little <laughs> not bit. Not at all. Because I'll get into we'll a We'll do group. wild thing. We'll do wild thing just for you. Because, okay. I mean, you tear that up. And we'll do some head banging like we used to do. Is that in Key of A? Yeah, it is, man. Oh, okay, That's your key. A, A, D, D, E, E, D, D, E, I should, um, I should work that out with you. Okay. I should work out some leads. I'm telling you, I could, I could show you a, yeah, but I know a little leads. trick. A little if you trick. just played some rhythm right now, I could play lead. Yeah? I'll show you a little trick. Why don't we set it up? Yeah, just so I know what I'm doing for the okay, for Saturday up, night. Because I, I don't want to start rehearsing Saturday set night. Set it up for him, and I'll show you. And, and you, it'll be you. Well, you play rhythm. Okay. Just, you know, and then let me do some lead. Let's do it. Set it up. You know, the break part. I'm your guy. Okay. Because <laughs> I would really, I think I could handle it. You can. All right. I'm telling you, you got the fingers for it. Look at look I know how to play the rhythm. Fingers. I, know how mine, to, right? I know how to play the rhythm for it. Just let me practice my lead. You got those long, I'm telling you, you got those Jimmy Page type fingers. You got me hot. Gilbert Gottfried over the bottom line Saturday night? Yes. Everybody. Party genius. How many shows are you doing? Uh, two. Uh, two. Two, two cool. shows. Two. What are those times? Uh, oh, I don't know. You have to call up for him. <laughs> you need a Ouija board. He's relaxed. That should be Gilbert's billing. Dude. Gilbert Gottfried, horny genius. <laughs> Let me get this straight now, Robbie. <laughs> Corey Feldman was uh, busted for heroin. Heroin and cocaine. Okay, yes. now. With Balloons. intent to sell. From what Balloons. we read, the first guy he called was Sam Kinison. Uh, yeah, as far as I can tell from People Magazine. Yeah. Um, <laughs> I think the first guy he called was a lawyer, <laughs> didn't he? What, and why would he call you? Why out of all the people in well, Hollywood? Because I was waiting for him. He needed some aim of nitrate. <laughs> you were waiting for your heroin. Yeah, I was waiting for heroin. <laughs> <laughs> well, well, I, I mean, I know the funny. kid. I know the kid. And I put a call into him. I woke up that morning. Right. He was going to be in my video. Right. He was going to be in the uh, the thing I just shot. Right. And we had to use David Faustino, which I'm glad we did because it's a lighter video. Right. I mean, with, with Corey, it would have been very heavy. With <laughs> yeah, right. The courtroom <laughs> scene. You saw it. Bring all his the problems. The courtroom scene with Corey in it. Yeah, that would have been good for laughs. Yeah. With Ozzy as the judge. Great. But, but what's uh, the... Uh, but why? But here's what here's the deal. So what was the conversation? I, I woke up Saturday morning, and this was like, man, this has been like close to a month, right? Right. right. Before yeah. I went on tour, and um, so it would have been around March 10th, I think. Mm -hmm. I for 14th. So I remember dates and everything now. Cool. Go ahead. <laughs> but, um, yeah. <laughs> so I woke up Saturday morning, like eight in the morning. I saw a CNN. They go, Corey Feldman busted for heroin with intent to sell. And I was freaking. I was going, no way. You know. Right, right. I know this kid a long time, like three years. So, and uh, I. I, you know, I still don't know what the facts are on this thing. So but I, I loved like, saying Hang the quote. kid, but, yeah, I was like, uh... What was In the quote? magazine. Well, people I can't believe so he accurate. was doing heroin. <laughs> <laughs> is that what I said? Meaning well, you can believe a, everything else. That's a fair quote. That's right. a fair quote. All right. <laughs> Seems like, what's that's wrong fair. with me? I never did that. 
Yeah. Well, River Phoenix man. helped him a lot, huh? <laughs> See River Phoenix? Well, that's, that's his buddy. What did River Phoenix <laughs> say? Oh, Rivers was like, yeah, it just shows everybody how dangerous they are. Yeah. And how everybody can be affected by it. And meanwhile, he's picking up his contracts, you know? Yeah, right. Yeah, you know what that user, Corey Feldman, working for you, dude. Yeah. <laughs> you want me, River Phoenix, man. I'm your man. Yeah. Hey, Freddie, we got two guitars? Uh, well, just give Sam an acoustic and, uh, you know, so he's so going to play I, rhythm. Here's where it happened. So I left, the yeah. machine, I left an answer on his machine because I didn't know if he was out of jail. Yeah, right. And and what was, I, the, what I was the message? I know some good liars, obviously. And right. I, was gonna, I recommended him one, and he took it, which was Howard Weissman. I said, get in touch with Howard Weissman. This is your guy. Yeah. You know? I, I would have given him a black lawyer. Who was the guy? <laughs> was the, you wanted to get the... DeLorean off. That's Not what I was going to say. Isn't that DeLorean's yeah. lawyer? Yeah. Yeah. I think Mr. Yeah. Phil's I mean, you know, no. something that heavy. I said, you know, it's like brain surgery. You're not looking for a bargain. You know what I mean? Right, you right. I feel really... uh, Mr. Feldstein here <laughs> is not using uh, any of that heroin. <laughs> <laughs> now, uh... So he called me up, but hey, man. I said, hey, you all right? He goes, yeah, man. I'm, I'm just a little shaken up. He says, man, don't believe everything you hear and read, man. I, you know, it's not all true. And, you know, but didn't so. they find, like, like tons? Tons of, of it. Not, well, according to him. See, that's why I'm, I'm kind of afraid, afraid to get in it, because I don't want to, like, you know. Blow the case for yeah, him. Yeah, exactly. But according to him, he wasn't doing oh, anything. Oh, yeah, you're blowing well, that case. Suppose <laughs> it was in the cop car. It was in the police car. They found it in the police car, not his car. Well, wait this a minute. what I was told. I see. That, uh -huh. So they pulled the, the, the police car seat out after they arrested him and stuff. And they found a little stuff on him. By the way, my nose, is, my nose is just swollen. It's exactly. not normally like this. <laughs> <laughs> hey, did well, you that's what I'm saying. But if you don't know, you know. But I, you don't I know. You, you don't know. You hey, don't lady, want to see. did you pull a seat Everybody out and blow the case? Show. <laughs> Everybody listens to this show. Right. You, you want to be like, careful. You want to be careful. I'm trying to figure this out. Sam says I mean, he could go to jail for like five years, man. Was in the police car? Right. And they decided Corey Feldman did it? Well, how else would it have gotten in there? You know, Roseanne isn't that fat. It's just gas that blows her up. Like that. <laughs> yeah, that's what well, you know that. <laughs> no, so Amazing. wait a second. Now, let me get this straight. So the defense will probably be that Corey was in the cop car. It must have been from some other bust left over. It was probably like her this is what I'm thinking. That yeah. probably there was some heroin and coke in the cop car. That is what I've been led to believe. But again, right. you know, this you is never just know. Hearsay. And right. You don't know about that. I don't know. Nothing no, that, Sam doesn't want to. Nothing I want to testify I about. Know. Right. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds I don't like see another, another courtroom for the rest of my life. It won't be too soon. Sounds Listen, like another one of those situations where there's a, a car wrapped around a telephone pole and no driver. No, I, I think I can, <laughs> I, I think I can picture this. Oh, uh, uh, oh you're <laughs> see, you see the Gilbert disease is working its way through the work its way through the, 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 the glass window there. I think I can picture like this conversation. Gas. It seeped under the doorway there. Sam and Corey Feldman on the phone, you know, and it's like, Sam, what do you think of this? I have like a real deep voice he's for a little a, he's kid. He's one of the Ninja Turtles, you know that? Is he really? Yeah, he's one of the Ninja Turtles. I didn't know. He plays Donatello. Hmm. I haven't seen the movie, but this is what I was Isn't saying. Sinbad and Gary uh, Coleman the uh, other two Ninja yeah, Turtles? Yeah, <laughs> Cowabunga, dude. Cowabunga, okay. dude. Cowabunga. <laughs> Cowabunga, my... Uh, I know, what is that? What an about? insult to anybody who ever made a real movie. Really? <laughs> <laughs> All right, 957. <laughs> we got to take a break and we come back. I'll work out my my notes for uh, Saturday night. All right, because yeah, you uh, got to be ready. Okay. You got to be ready for this. We'll be back right after this. <laughs> Listen to this. Bye. This is important. Yo, yeah. boy. Oh, you guys, any of you guys got a fax machine? Uh, I do. Yeah. Do you have one that cuts the paper? Um, yes, I think. Because if it doesn't cut the paper... It doesn't cut. No, I, I'm trying to think. I think does it, it come does. out like a scroll, like a the, Torah? Yeah. It or goes out it? falls on the floor. It's in my Malibu house. It's not in my Malibu house. Oh, then you, then you don't have a, one that cuts uh, the paper. What's that mean? <laughs> in other words, like when you get a fax, right? Page yeah. comes through. It cuts it itself. It cut, you know how you always have to sit there and cut your faxes up? Oh, yeah, I understand. Yeah, this one cuts. Oh, it does? Okay. Yeah. I Do think, you, maybe not. No, as, I, as I remember now, it doesn't. It doesn't. It's a pain That's in the ass. That's right. I right. just remembered. It doesn't cut. Right. And then, I'm sure yours has an automatic feeder, but does it have a pre-programmed cover page? No way. Of course not. No, I have the well, well, who can Sam call to change all this? <laughs> I'm going to tell you in a minute. <laughs> How's that Thank Mexican God food? I ran into you, man. How's I was, that Mexican I was getting, food? Good? Oh, this is real that's good. Howard. Yeah. yeah. I mean, that's Howard. <laughs> <laughs> hey, all right, I got six brain cells left. Now. I got six brain cells left. All right, guys, we're in a boat going, who's got the map? His memory's working. The LCD display. Now, let me ask you something. When you send a fax. <laughs> yes. <laughs> when you send a fax. Oh, my can God. Can you see yes. the number you're dialing? No. 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 See? 
But this one has an LCD display. I don't even know how to send the fax. I have Christy come over. Carl's wife, and she doesn't. You actually just call someone and say, come over and yeah, send my fax. Yeah, houses down, because I don't know what to do. I didn't graduate. Is there I a modern appliance that could change all this? <laughs> just for the future. <laughs> <laughs> and they have free 90-day on-site service, which I think is pretty cool. Can it call a apple? <laughs> Do you have free 90-day on-site service? Uh, no, I don't have any of that. I'm a dummy. I just bought the thing, and uh, actually, I bought it from an off-duty this policeman. Is the, this is the Brother Fax Model 200. <laughs> Brother Fax Model 200 is available. That's how you want to buy your office equipment. <laughs> if I knew some off-duty hey, cops, hey, I would. Fax machine. Brother Fax Model 200. In the back seat. It's available at Newmark and Lewis and Staples stores. Oh, here we go. Here we go. All right. Now we're talking. Now we're talking. Okay. Oh, you got my, uh... Sam just bought my bone necklace. I was going to say, what oh, did you just get? Too? The yeah. trinkets for the uh, ceremony? You paid a lot more than I did, though, so <laughs> oh, I feel yeah. better. You know, I don't have that fax machine. Right. Uh, Sam just bought a bunch of jewelry off Axel. I heard that clinking. I said, oh, it's time for the ceremony. We're going to do a Shit. black mass. <laughs> Sam's got his Satan jewelry on. Oh, man, this is great, isn't it? And it's very understated. <laughs> Tasteful Satan Well, like, you know, you got to wear the stuff when you play guitar. And, right. You know. hey, give me the guitar. I want to work out. Right. I want to show That's you what, what I could do. That's what we're working okay. on. Your lips. Did we get through the uh, fax commercial? We're through that? Yeah. yeah. Okay, okay, good. Did you tell him where to get it? Newmark and Lewis and yeah. Staples? Okay. Yeah, I did that. I missed this one. This is the, actually the coolest one I like. Thanks, Freddie. The one that looks like Sammy Davis. Whoa. Oh. Like this one? <laughs> hey, man, got great. a cigarette? Hey, man. Oh, that's a great... <laughs> Yeah, Gilbert. It looks good if you have a cigarette in it. It looks no, like Sam. Humor Sam some more. <laughs> Look, Gilbert he, he wants might, one like that. He might get violent. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. oh, this is going to be cool, You have man. to sit there with me. Thank you. Oh, that's terrific, now, let's Sam. Hear, let's hear your wild thing as is. Where's the pick? Hey, use one of these nachos. <laughs> sound as good as all these other guys. That's the amazing thing. I was going to say, is Dweezil Zap in the room? <laughs> wow! Oh, that sustain is great, man. You've got the sustain down. It sounds like the ACDC. Well, have you heard man, about man. the Midnight Rambler? That sounds like that song Richard Ramirez used to listen to. Uh, <laughs> listen, listen, remember that, Nightcrawler? <laughs> I'm your night prowler. I sleep in right. the day. Wild thing. You ready? <laughs> Be nice. Howard, you like improved. You sound great, man. Okay, now. Now, here's your first. Now. Just Wild thing! <laughs> <laughs> I think I am! But I want to know for sure! Now, here's what you do. Right? Yeah. You're going to do lead, right? You're in the break. Well, where's, where's, where's Sam's rhythm guitar? All right. All right, you're in the break, though. I can help you without a guitar. Right. Now, what you do is you open this, the, the second string, not the I first I know one. what to do. You just, right. play, you just play... Oh, he knows what to do. Oh, I'm sorry. Oh. All right, now, this is the part after this part. Don't treat him like a baby. Wow, thing, I think I love yeah. you. Yeah. I'm sorry. But I want to know no, for that's sure. Bad. That's it. We'll be right with you. We're like, going on my jewelry. I love you. Now, what do you want to do? Now, where does Isn't it... that the rhythm part? You're going to be playing lead over there. Well, he's busy with his jewelry. Oh, I see. Yeah, all right, all right. I just put him on now, because now I can really... All right, it looks cool. I've got, like, my new video. I've got a shot of me with the ring. Just Jamie. get the guitar and give me some That rhythm. way he can write it off on his taxes. <laughs> yeah, well, that's cool. You look like Keith Richards, you know? Like with the... Can I practice my yes, rhythm? Sorry. Take that get guitar. Get the guitar. It's behind you, Sam. Is what Moss was playing the other day? Now you play a lead. I don't have a pick either, and I just cut my fingernails last night. Anybody got a, uh, a pick? pick. <laughs> Could have sworn we tried to get this arranged during the commercial. Here, give it to Sam. Here. <laughs> All right. We only got one pick. There we go. Now we get. We're cool. Okay. Now, okay. All right. We'll put this down here. So the All right. Now home. give me give me the part where it's brand and we're gonna go. Thing I think I love you. I want. He's playing something else. Now. I said, what is going are you gonna on? are you gonna work with me on this? 
Are you going to work with me on this? I can teach you this. Remember the, from the... Uh, uh, no, I don't want to play that. Deliverance? I want to play Wild Thing. Well, Would you go back on drugs? Really well. <laughs> Have you ever had a good friend who says he's going to teach you how to play all guitar? Right, okay, all right, well, this going. is like the teacher, the demented teacher. Yeah. Well, you know what this is like? I'm going to write a movie about a demented guitar teacher. <laughs> Now, this is the part where I would do the lead? Yeah. Was that wrong, Sam? <laughs> Was that the right key? <laughs> Sometimes. <laughs> oh, so I'll just play the rhythm. <laughs> no, I just sounded good. Oh, look at this. Caffeine free coke. Great. Now it's good. You guys are on top of it today. Let's knock off this charade. Get Sam a beer. <laughs> well, how'd I do with that? I thought you did great. The Robin? room twice was a little weird. You start out good. You were like... <laughs> Right? You right. won't do that. Right? That was and good. Then what, that was and then good. where did I go wrong? No, this was good. That thing yeah. you did there was yeah. good. That was cool. Now, you'll notice if you put, like, your finger across down here, and you take that little finger, and you go like this. Yeah, see right there? There you go. What you're looking for is some now, counterpoint. Now, see, Leslie, Leslie will rhythm. lift up an eyebrow if you do that. What am I looking for? Some counterpoint to the rhythm. You're playing almost in the register of the rhythm. Oh, oh, oh. See, Leslie won't be expecting that from you. If you, you have like two days to work on that, you'll have it done by Saturday. Just... There you go, exactly. I'll get you a good... How's that? Uh, oh, very good. The I guitar guess. with your face on it has the bar, right? Yeah, the whammy so bar. So if you're doing that, if you do that one thing you were just doing, and you use the bar, you push down the bar, it goes... I'm all set. You're ready. All right. yeah. You're ready to go up against Scaringer, Joe Walsh, Leslie West, a couple surprise guests. You're ready. You're ready, Howard. What do you think, Robin? I can handle it. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, let me hear your lead, all right? I'll play the rhythm so I can get ready. Oh, yeah, on oh, a acoustic, great. <laughs> Ready, lower this. <laughs> Alright, see, I can handle that. Orbison's guitar? These strings are like barbed wire, man. Oh, yeah. Yeah, give me Johnny Cash's guitar. You ask me why I dress in black. Yeah, I don't think they care, actually. Well, no one can tell how long you've had it on. I could play good enough to get up there with you Dude, guys. Dude, I'm telling you, we got your set. You can have, you get, you'll have the, the Marshall stack. You'll be next to me. All right. I'll be flanking you, man. Like oh, that's going to help me stand the next to him. That's right. right. Corey Feldman movie, Stand By Me. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's ironic how all the great guitar players do amyl nitrate. Is that? Oh, oh, yeah. I, see, I didn't, I didn't do amyl nitrate until I got any guitar. When's the last time you did amyl nitrate? Yesterday morning. Really? I think it was yesterday. No, it was have been... Where would my hearing go? There it is. Yeah. <laughs> These, these headphones. I'm, I know where I'm getting you, all right? It's like new headphones for everybody. Yeah. But. Instead of wasting all that money on jewelry, you gotta just buy us headphones, right? <laughs> I, I, I know what senility is gonna be like now. It's like, I, 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 <laughs> so why, 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 why are you uh, saying? Uh, You're not putting me in the home, are you? But um, <laughs> I did it two mornings ago with Malika. 
Gilbert, great. you got to get a girlfriend. Oh, you got to do it on Amo, man. I'm a money genius, though. Do it on Amo. This is kill my whole image. you got to get a girlfriend. This is ridiculous. Hey, the push okay. man, that? What? No, no, I'm working on it. <laughs> hey, it's, it's, well, you know, it's this whole age thing. <laughs> Remember the push Before man? that. <laughs> Give me a little of that. Pretend you're Elton John and we're at the funeral. <laughs> hey, Elton, are you upset? Or are you just a homo? Play a love song for Gilbert and Robin. <laughs> I didn't want to let it out of the bag, Robin. But We're not ready to talk about Old it. Man River. <laughs> Old Man River. Yes, all your favorite Paul Robeson's hits. <laughs> well, anyway, I can, I can see I've lost control. But, uh... Play Best You Is My Woman. <laughs> <laughs> On guitar. Can you play that? Best You Is My Woman? No. <laughs> no, I'm not real good on Broadway musicals. But... That's what this lawyer is singing. <laughs> spoon, that spoonful, that spoon... We'll just give something for Corey Feldman. That spoon, that spoonful. Remember that song by Cream? Yep. Oh, yeah, sure. Yeah. Spoonful. Yeah, cool. No, seriously. Uh -huh. yeah, I know. Well, that. that might be a good song parody for you to do. There you Corey go. Corey Feldman thinks. Spoonful. I don't know singing spoonful. You do that at the Nassau College, okay. too. <laughs> <laughs> don't give me any ideas. Do you want to go over his Letterman thing anymore? Yeah, I do. Yeah, right, well, but right Sam doesn't seem to be... to comedy school. Sam doesn't seem to be <laughs> cooperating in my Letterman analysis. I'm, not, I'm, helping. I'm, not, I'm trying to hear what his pre-interview... I didn't say anything. I'm, I'm taking What are you going to talk to Dave about? That's what i got to know. I don't. I thought I'd bring up the album. Yeah, that's out there. That's the leader of the band. I'm, 100, I'm a, 111 on Billboard next week. Do you have something that, funny to say about so, the album? In my something... second week, that's pretty good for Billboard, don't you think? What is that again? My second week, next week in Billboard magazine. They just yes. told me I'll be 111 in the charts. For my second week on the charts. So let me ask you this. Um... Do you think there's something funny about your album? Oh, we well, well, could you say like three funny things? Well, I could possibly say it's round. The there's album. a hole in it. And then if there's time, <laughs> uh, he could ask you about uh, something else. <laughs> so it's round. All right, there's well, a hole but, in no, it. we'll, it's an album. No, we'll talk about the album. But do you want to talk about some things that have been going on in your life? Like uh, the like Lenny Bruce's mom affair. I think is it might be good for laughs. Are you going to bring out the article? Yeah, yeah, yeah I've got, I got it. I mean, what are you going to say about Still shot on that. What are you going to say about that? I do an 83 year old woman. I mean, you know, do you have something funny to say about it? And I'm only got it masturbates to the golden girls and you know we can talk about that <laughs> all right that's funny the guy wants a centerfold of, of, of uh, barbara bush i don't know that uh, i don't know if dave is comfortable with masturbating i don't know, I don't know if the audience uh, likes wow. the golden girls the gannon brothers <laughs> i think it's a different audience it's a different audience from the golden girls but wow. <laughs> well you could, you could try it why don't you do your record uh joke first okay <laughs> then, uh, then we'll the build we'll your build to the golden no, girl stuff well, if there's time i don't know how much think, time they'll be on what do you think about the barbara Bush i would actually I start i would actually start with the uh golden girls line i'm being serious open with it okay open with it and the masturbate thing will shock dave a little bit and i'll put on that little boy face okay and then uh <laughs> I would move into the amyl. Oh, you can't talk about amyl nitrate. Well, no. I'm, I'm dipping my pen in the saucer right now to write all this stuff. Yeah, right. <laughs> I'm serious. I'm, I'm listening. Hey. Why don't you do? I got a good one for you. Go on and talk about. Isn't it amazing how Mother Teresa gave up her whole career to do amyl nitrate with you? <laughs> Hello. <Yeah. Well>, okay. <laughs> now you know I can't mention amyl nitrate on that show. I mean, yeah, I, but so what? That's where I got bleep for last time. And I sat down next to the desk and I said, I asked David. I said, Hey, David, you ever had sex on amyl nitrate? And he came on top. I was like, Hey, David. You how about, I can't, <laughs> all right, I got and, a better joke. Obviously, well, I, you, I, I, I read an article, I read an article about how Leno prepares for the Tonight Show. Yes, yes. What's I take him a light tray. And he sits around, <laughs> he sits around with a group of guys at his house eating, like he has an ice cream soda oh. while the guys sit and watch him and they write for him. Ice cream soda? Yeah, he makes ice cream sodas <laughs> for the guys and they all uh -huh. sit around his house. So this is what we'll do with Sam. We'll make suggestions and then he can either take them or leave them. All right. All right. That's Throw them around. Throw around. Could you make me some Amy Lightray joke? Yeah. Hey, you want a scoop of strawberry and a scoop of chocolate? Hey, no, wait a minute. We'll make more. We'll make more. Well, I think that Sam should bring up all the tabloid stuff. Yeah. The Katie Seagal relationship. He doesn't listen. The fight with Malika. Right. Oh, well, that's all the article. Well, and, no, it's not all <laughs> well, that That's right. right. That was right. on the I'm sleeping with Katie Sago. Right. right. Yeah. <laughs> See, but you want to come out. This is my this is my handle on the t on the Letterman show. Okay. All right. I come out. I have a few things that I hit Dave with right away that yeah. I don't tell Gannon about. First, you say to Dave, Dave, you ever had two sisters in bed? Now, wow. now, oh, open right away. That. Open with that, right? No, I'm being serious. I'm following right away, you. All right. I see your tail lights. I'm right, right on your tail. Right away. Then Dave's like, whoa. You know, like, he puts out his He's face. He's on the defensive. And the audience is freaking out, okay? He starts looking through the blue cards because this isn't listed. Right. Then you go, hey, Dave, 
Were you at Ryan's funeral? <laughs> I didn't see you there next to Donahue. Did I? Whoa. Ooh, boom. Whoa. Boom. Wait a second. Double boom. shot. Hey, this is. I'm just being honest. This is exactly what I would do. This would be my okay. Letterman shot. <laughs> All right. He thinks I'm kidding. I'm following you. All right. All right. I'm following you. Then, then the next yeah. thing I would do is. I'm, I'm telling you. <laughs> then I'd say. Dave, listen, I can't stay long. I have to go shoot a cabbie. All right? Now you've shocked the hell out of the audience. <laughs> Build to shoot a cabbie? They've got absolutely bazonkers. Then you yeah. go, I'm going to set fire to a social club. Yeah, i got to go pick up a gallon of gas before no, no, no. I go to the social That's club. That's not what I said. That's not what I said. Then, okay, you got to do don't Mother Teresa. Me. I don't want to be confused. You can't do amyl nitrate material. Yeah. I can't believe Mother Teresa left uh, her job just to go hang out with uh, Corey Feldman and do some uh, heroin and coke. Wow. Boom! Right away, that gets Boom. in. Boom! And, and, and that's the end of my talk. That's in my couch set. So I married through the couch set. So that's re that's revised. Yeah, there you go. Open up with Have you ever had two sisters in bed? Yeah, right. <laughs> He's taking notes. Yeah, yeah I'm, I'm ready for this. How about? I think List has suffered enough. <laughs> I really do, Dave. I, I mean, what that poor man. That poor man. His wife had syphilis. Uh -huh. What did you expect him to do? <laughs> she had to shimmy down a flight of stairs. <laughs> I always go out and right away. <laughs> right, that's over the <laughs> So the thing is, you go out there and you lay it out. Right yeah, away you so establish. So what should I tell him I'm going to talk about? Because, I mean, to, to throw him off, I need some subjects that I tell him. Tell me you're going to talk about your new album. Okay, so set him up. Just say, well, I'm well, going to do the um, record. Don't talk okay, about the album. Okay, uh, you'll talk about the album first. Right. Uh, yeah. Then you'll go into the amyl nitrate uh, bit. No, I'll say, I can't <laughs> do amyl nitrate. So, they'll be waiting for that. They'll be waiting for that. <laughs> All right, no amyl nitrate. Yeah. What, what, no, Gannon's going to say to you, uh, well, what have you been doing that's funny lately? You know, what have you been up to? That's he's, what he's going to say. He's been yeah. sober. That would be the big thing. Yeah, that's good for a laugh. Yeah, okay, what about the sober thing? <laughs> That'll crack uh, I've been head. sober. Well, what's so funny about that? <laughs> uh, well, you know, a lot of people uh, now see me for the first time with new eyes. Are, yeah, but I'm not laughing. <laughs> yeah. yeah, in other words... No, you, I'm following you. But I'm telling that. But then I go into the real stuff. Right. And then you say something <laughs> to Mother Teresa and Corey Feldman and uh, oh, well, that's funny. shoot a cabbie in the head. <laughs> that's what I've been doing. Lately. I'm the guy. I'm the guy people have been looking for. Yeah, come and get me. You want to be like <laughs> Louis Anderson. You're the serious They got to take the show. I have time to get out of the country. <laughs> no, I'll bet you, you know, Letterman treats you a lot different than he does like me. You probably go in there and say, hey, look, I just want to talk to Dave, and that's good enough. You probably don't have to lay out a bunch of material, Frank do you? probably says, do you have something you want to talk about? And you say, I never yes, did before and this. Alone. I mean, I had to go over them like, the, like the day of the show. They would say, what are you going to do? And I just run over it. But, but you know, know what I you're going to do. But you're not last time, since I, I forgot, I didn't tell them I was doing the amyl nitrate thing. It just kind of like, you know. You're not coming I clean with me. It was a big deal. Though. They just kind of went, yeah, it's all right. Because uh, Sam, the last time he was here, he was giving me advice. And he yes. said, well, my advice to you is, I forget what your advice was. I don't think he ever got no, it No, I out. never gave you any advice. I was just like critis <laughs> critical. He yeah, was what was the criticism? Yeah. I forget. I don't remember. He just said your last shot that was on Letterman was, was not and your high. best. Yeah. And he could have told, you should have called him and reviewed your material with him. And then Sam went and out then there. then he put the mojo on me. He put the Howard Stern <laughs> yeah. mojo on me. Because I remember you going, oh, good. Good, but we'll be watching you tonight. And I saw that look in your eyes. Yeah. When you said it, it was like, you were going to have like a little Sam Voodoo doll at the Stern house going, okay, yeah. he's coming on. Man, it wasn't your best appearance. Oh, Maybe no, I not. It, yeah, it was my most bleeped appearance. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> The parents that got through the, the edits, but uh, no, but, it, was, um, it, was, it was the stern mojo, and I messed with it, and I paid. So Sam's not being totally honest with us. I he, think he's afraid. I feel I hear real fear that uh, he doesn't want you putting any more mojos on. No, but he doesn't want to tell us what... Grace. I want the grace. I want the Howard's grace. He doesn't want to there, tell us... I want to go to the special stern mojo. You don't need my grace. Oh, you can tell. hurt. Believe, <laughs> believe me, you know what you're doing. Yeah. And the thing is that... Uh, yes, man, I dealt with the movie companies. Yeah, I know what I'm doing. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> I, mean, I know what I'm doing. I'm bigger than them. Yeah. <laughs> I'll teach I'll them a lesson. I'll show you, eh? <laughs> He's trying to get to the Dominican Republic. So they got the that. Rocky movies. No Big deal. divorce. Will they not let you in any more movies? I don't know. Are you are you blackballed, do you think? I got a script the other day. Oh, you did? And it was from uh, Bill Murray's people for a thing called What About Bob? So I was reading it, and I kind of liked it. So you're going to do it? I, play, so I, told, I told them if they were interested, I was. But, you know, mm -hmm. you never know, man. You, you know, got to you know, stay. You got there was uh, supposedly some kind of black ball going on. You want to be dangerous on Letterman? You want my advice? Yeah, you don't I'm, have to I'm take here. her. I mean, look, look at these eyes. They're white. They're looking Wear right a, a Mike Ovitz blows button. Oh, right. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Big button. Well, you saw the credit in my record, right? <laughs> yeah, Mike Ovitz. Yeah, that was yeah, funny, right. wasn't it? Yeah. That's going to keep me out of work for another two years. But it was like the longest yard. No, right. Burt Reynolds was like, hey, I'm, I may get out of here, but no, I'm going to play this last touchdown. It's been another 20 years. Yeah. Go on, I was right. What a stupid movie. But anyway. You know what movie Gilbert's going to be in this summer? No. What movie? Hey, Lord, who on? He's... Huh. Hi, lady. Are you with those guys? What? No, you're in the Dice movie. It's oh, yes. Okay. It's coming out June 8th. Yeah. 
Oh, he's I, I, really up on Dyson. Yeah. No, I saw, I saw the poster. <laughs> you saw the poster? <laughs> saw the poster. Yeah. It's like a cartoon. Yeah, no. It's, it's, it's not out. even like real money. I know. And then these <laughs> are you know what I mean? It's not even like a real poster. It's like a, it's like a cartoon poster. Right. <gasps> and it says, uh, it says it on it, it says to his clients, to most of his, uh, to the, the entire, to his clients, he's a uh, great detective, but to the rest of the world, he's just a dick. That's the logo yeah. of the film. You wrote that, I think. Yeah, well, I, was, I wasn't <laughs> disappointed. <laughs> yeah, right, right. <laughs> <laughs> Which so, I think it's a good move to release a film a week after Memorial Day weekend. <laughs> That's smart. Yeah. <laughs> well, who knows? Who knows what is it going to be? Hey. That's right. You never know. They said he couldn't play stadiums. That's hey. right. Well, you see how good Dana Carvey's movie's done. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> uh, why didn't I get a part in that one? Damn. Because Dana it. was doing them all. Because, right. you know, when you have a good Dana Carvey movie coming out, you got <laughs> nothing to worry about. You see, Gilbert could do a good movie where he would be different characters. Different characters I could yeah. buy that. Dana Carvey? That real strong jaw Dana Carvey has with yeah. Carrie. He's movie, got a dangerous yeah. comedy about him. <laughs> yeah, he's so, he, he's so interesting. Yes. Yeah, he's so commanding. <laughs> yeah, he's so different. Well, Sam, I predict you will be huge in movies. Thank I believe you. that you will uh, have a great film career, despite a minor setback. A minor setback. Where you had to teach UA a lesson. That's right. But I believe that... Uh, <laughs> Boy, they're crawling away with that tail. Oh, I'm telling you. Now. <laughs> with where my was, money. Where was your manager with all our good advice during that little episode? Yes. yes. On, their, uh, on their side of the table. <laughs> I see. Well, anyway. I believe you will leave Kevin Nealon in the dust when it comes to film. <laughs> Thank you very much. <laughs> oh, dear. I accept that as the Howard Stern blessing. Sam will go on. Let me tell you something about Sam. Three minutes in the Rodney Dangerfield movie was only needed. That's right. That's it. Three and minutes. And I believe that you will be one of the greatest film wow. stars in the country. I have a role in your film, right? As a matter of fact, you do. Uh, I'm telling you, that's for real. I'm going to do it. Yeah, and, I'm not afraid to Isn't that you. the script he got the other day? You said your agent had shown it to me. Yeah, I heard that on that the radio. I want, one, I want one of the scripts. Bill <laughs> Murray's people are handling that for me. And, uh, I'm serious. I want to be in your film. I will. I, listen, Especially I'd be honored. you you described to me. Yep. Oh, you'll love oh, it. Oh, I remember that. You oh, will love yeah. it. Oh. Malik and Sabrina may not enjoy it. Well, go kick my agent in the ass and tell him to get those screenplays out. He's got them on okay. his desk. Please. Give me his address. <laughs> All right. I'm, I'll, make him, I'll go over there and make him eat some of this cold Mexican food now. <laughs> Here you go. Gilbert, you'll be at the bottom line Saturday night. Saturday night, two with, shows. With I your zany, it. wacky brand of humor. Zany, wacky, horny genius. <laughs> <laughs> he hasn't stopped eating. I know. What? He's no. not a hungry genius. He's right. a horny genius. That's not Howard. <laughs> He's working on um, some... I think that's hot sauce, yeah, salsa but... sauce with Kathy Lee Gifford's <laughs> umbilical cord. Ooh. Oh, tasty. That little afterbirth. He's got that mixed <laughs> in with the... <laughs> from, the gift, from the gift's child. Oh, but uh, anything you want to wind up with, Robin? Well, uh, there's going to be a... Let's talk about the dice movie for a while. <laughs> I don't know what the uh, poster says. Does anybody know? Anyway, uh, Rob Lowe is going to have a special on VH1. Wow. This Saturday at 7 o'clock, talking about how everyone has to be responsible <laughs> no. for Especially with video cameras, activities. Huh? Yes. Why is this guy apologizing? He said he did nothing wrong. He basically went into a room. He thought the girl was of age. Why is this guy apologizing every minute? I don't know. It must so be... he, he had sex with a Well, wait, isn't there an outstanding... The thing here? There's only been one, one thing <laughs> had dealt with. Isn't there an, still an outstanding thing? No. On that? No, there well, there's another, a suit. A civil yeah, suit. Yeah, there's another suit. Oh, yeah, yeah there's that little suit thing. Oh, I see. Maybe that's why he's apologizing. Yeah, I think it's all public image. Hmm. Like, why is he so concerned, though? If I mean, he it's said, a... look, I did it, I'm glad I had sex with you. You know, he's getting laid girls. even more now. Anybody yeah. else would have done the same thing. It, you, people would respect him. Right. Hey, he's Damn getting made more now. You can count on it. That's right. Actually, he's, made, he's been made to look more nasty and more devious now. I women think so. like that. I think that works. Women are them. attracted to that. Tell me about it. I mean, if you're straight to your house. Right. Yeah. When hey, I come to your house. I know that. Yeah, I got it. Yeah. <laughs> Rob is interviewed by Bobby Rivers. The VJ. Oh. Yes. I bet he's going to show up early for that assignment. <laughs> <laughs> Coffee and donuts on me. <laughs> on me. Sit right here, Rob. Yes. <laughs> but tell me again, how did you seduce those teenagers? <laughs> you know, I love video myself, Rob. <laughs> hey, what are you, a homo? <laughs> what are you asking me about video for? What are you, a big homo? <laughs> oh. And he will be... Uh, Mm. On a show where uh, Bobby also interviews Dr. Ruth, Sidney Biddle Barrows, and other experts. Mm. It's to coincide with the release of the videotape of Sex Lies and Videotape. So. Wow. Wow. I'm nice confused. Tie yeah. Yeah. Bobby Rivers. He's not even, in he's not even involved with that film. I know. Yeah. But uh, that's what they're doing. 
James Spader. James Spader. Yeah. He's something weird about that guy. Yeah, definitely. He's never had like a regular role. He's always like the <laughs> hair <laughs> off. He's know? dark. <laughs> you don't guy. know him? No. I don't hang with the Brat Pack too much. I know Rob. He's a nice dude. Mm. You know. Me and Demi Moore hang out yeah. a lot. Really, Gilbert? What? Is that right? You and Demi Moore? Yeah, me, Demi Moore, and Ali Sheedy. What's that? Right. Nothing. Okay. Is it the That's Dice the, movie? It's the Dice movie, right? Yeah. Okay. Like, let's see it. Let's seriously, see look it. at it. Um, it's not even like a real poster. It's like a cartoon. You haven't seen it? And Gilbert Gottfried as Howard Stern. <laughs> <laughs> what is it? A National Lampoon? Yeah. It yeah, is? It's, it's, it's nothing that'll translate for radio. Right. Go okay. ahead. Well, let's see Everybody it. know John McLaughlin? Yeah, uh, the guitar player, Santana. Right. No. Yeah, man. A wrong guy. No, no not Santana. No, I know, it was a guitar player that did an album with Santana. Right. Who was that guy, John McLaughlin, who did the... Uh, Mahavishnu Orchestra. Mahavishnu yeah. Orchestra, yeah. yeah. <laughs> That's not the one I'm talking about. Oh, you mean the guy <laughs> oh, okay. who does well, the public... It was the same name. <laughs> the guy who does... Me and Fred New, pal. The guy who does the public affairs show. <laughs> the McLaughlin Report. Right. Yes. Oh, and he's guy. also on CNBC. Mm -hmm. He's an older guy. Unless you know, you're you blind. look at him, he's very conservative. Right. If you're blind, you can't see NBC. <laughs> yeah. Okay. And, uh... <laughs> kind um, of a cool title. Hmm. Okay. Uh, I'm going to try to keep my uh, focus here. Just go right through with it. He does that uh, show where he has the round table, a discussion with all the politicians and all that stuff on Sunday mornings. Well, anyway, he just got over a $4 million sexual harassment suit by someone, an assistant on his staff. Sam's second wife, I think. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> he apparently, yeah, Kathy Kennison. <laughs> he apparently settled that out of court, according to page six. And today, they say, uh, recently, he was heard asking his current assistant how she felt about kinky sex. Uh-oh. Mm. So, uh, I don't know what's going on there, but it's interesting that this older guy who used to be a Jesuit it priest... It was a panel discussion he was having with Is her. that right? Right. Now you, kinky sex, what do you think of it? Yeah. You, what do you think? <laughs> <laughs> but uh, he used to be a Jesuit priest, and he left the priest hey, that's my rap. to marry a woman. The old trick. I heard he propositioned... Seven uh, years earlier. Heard, it's a great line to pick up women, you know. I hear Mike, Mike Eskridge wants to be propositioned by... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> over there at CNBC. Is that right? Yeah. CNBC. I just think it's interesting that these older conservative guys who are always telling people how to run their lives, you know, they wind up being uh, hit with sexual harassment suits, and uh -huh. then you hear them over in a corner propositioning people for kinky sex and so forth. Right. So who knows? I don't know if this is really happening. They just happened to say it in page six today. Thank God Ed McMahon is still around and doesn't... Doesn't do that kind of stuff. That's right. right. Meanwhile, there's another one of these um, benefit records being put together. A bunch of rock stars are putting together an all-star record album to benefit AIDS research, Howard. Who's going to be it in that? It was announced in A London. A bunch of homos. <laughs> <laughs> you two, Sinead O'Connor, yeah, Annie won't call Lennox, me. They won't call me. I would, David donate, Byrne, I would donate a song. Mm -hmm. And Fine Young Cannibals. Oh, yeah, great. Yeah, all, are all among the, straight the artists groups. involved. <laughs> no, you don't know that. Well, I mean, you know, come no, on. You don't know anything about that. So I guess ZZ Top didn't make this cut, huh? <laughs> <laughs> Alana Curry of the Thompson Twins tells us why she got involved. Oh, oh the idea. Thompson Twins, yeah. Yeah. Find a new hairstyle. <laughs> Here we go. We've had um, several friends of ours, um, two with AIDS. What are you, homos? And <laughs> several are HIV positive. Um, and it could be us. That's the point we're trying to make as well. <laughs> we could have it be HIV positive. I'll you stay away from HIV that then. Positive. Yeah. Any of us can be. I don't understand why. See, they, they accuse me for not getting involved. And I do get involved. I, do, I work with the T.J. Martell Foundation with MTV. Right. Really? We've raised over half a million dollars in those two baseball games I've helped coach. Right. And I, I, I know my services, you know. Right, right. They don't do their homework. They don't find out that I'm involved and I try to help these medical... Uh, yeah, they also find other something? diseases, but not just days. But you think, you know, I'm a recording audience. Why don't they... An artist. I'm a recording artist. Right. Uh, I'm, I'm a recording John, audience. I John's disease now. Right. I'm a recording audience. Enough. But Sam, I believe... But I was, I'm, I'm offended they don't come to me and ask me for a contribution to this record. I would make one. I believe Sam... I would do a song. ...will be the greatest charity fundraiser. For AIDS? For AIDS in the future. Oh, that's what you see. Yeah, I see that. I'm telling you, I'm willing to, you know. By the way, I have no psychic abilities whatsoever. <laughs> Nobody gives me a chance to help with the rainforest. I never get invited to benefits. And oh, I help and out with the homos <laughs> and all of their diseases. <laughs> like well, the I go there. I, I raise money for the homos. All these homos and all those diseases. <laughs> <laughs> sort of like Dice and Cary Grant all yeah. mixed up in the world. <laughs>
<laughs> oh, get Dice ready Grant. for the home. Carrie Dice. <laughs> also, like Howard, Alana also says that she thought teenagers knew more about the importance of practicing safe sex than they actually do after she talked to her two 18-year-old nephews. Oh, I see. Wow. Ah. Is that uh -huh. safe for that? Yes, well, maybe, I you know, maybe she should talk to her two 18-year-old nieces rather than the nephews. Carrie Dice Grant. I tell you what's quite funny. I've had um, two 18-year-old boys, um, my nephews, living with us, and that severe sex, drugs, and rock and roll fiends, you know, and their hormones are really crazy. And I was saying to them, we were talking about. <laughs> I bet, I bet she's their favorite relative too. <laughs> <laughs> we never use condoms. We've never used condoms. And I sort of said, why? And they said, oh, because we're not gay. Because not Sam Kinison told us. Yeah. She got the same yeah, accent you got. Name, like we're not gay. We're not gay. I've never used condoms. <laughs> These are fairly intelligent boys, you know. No, they're and not. That's oh, that's so stupid. You know what? <laughs> why isn't there pressure put on the research groups to invent a more comp uh, a more contemporary contraceptive for men? than the rubber. That's my that's my argument. Yeah, but you think that there'd be something that would have come yes, along. Exactly. Yes, exactly. I mean, we're up to laser brain surgery. Right. You know, laser heart surgery. You right. have a, uh, a satellite dish that'll pull in 188 channels. Right. And they, they, they invented the rubber and they hit a brick wall. Right. They couldn't go any further with it. Yeah. You know, that's the end of the research. We can't top this. Let's go home. That's it. Nothing, nothing yeah, can be invented. Yeah, in 50 years, they haven't been able to top this idea. <laughs> a balloon over the penis. That's it. Let's go home. <laughs> well, yeah, is, that, is that ridiculous? It is ridiculous. You know, this, was, is. this was the bit I took so much heat for. And I'm just saying that guys, and I guarantee you, if you take a poll, guys do hate rubbers. They hate Did them. you say you could like spray something on? Yeah, some cool? kind of like Scotchgard type right. substance. <laughs> That would be an aerosol pe penis protector it, spray. It would keep the wrinkles out. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> they care more about furniture than they do protecting exactly our penis. Exactly, that's, that's, that's my grind. And that, and that they stickered your album for. Yeah, Aww. just for that. Well, I can't Well, Sam, it. the AIDS benefit they're talking about is called <laughs> Red Hot and Blue. It involves all the artists taking part. <laughs> Red Hot and Blue? Oh, yeah. That, that's too big okay, a Okay, lose my number on that one. Uh, you, you got enough. You got enough guys on that. Isn't that sort of what you'll look like, like when... Uh, <laughs> Yeah, that's like Red line up for the punchline. <laughs> that was that's the description of the lesions, isn't it? I <laughs> see. Is there, a is there a band on there called the Blue Vayners, by any chance? <laughs> the Red, Red Hot, Hot and, and blue. blue. The Red Hot and Blue Tour. Uh. Uh. But anyway, they uh, take part in recording their own versions of classic Cole Porter songs. The Red Hot Blue Vayners, I Wow. So, uh, that should be some album coming out in October. Red Hot and Blue. And there'll be wow. a special on ABC. Thank God I TV. released my record now. <laughs> you don't want to be in the way oh, of that. Oh, I don't want to be swamped by that. <laughs> <laughs> no. President Bush is going to have a routine annual physical. Oh, today. he's having a Bush wow. routine. Oh. <laughs> physical, good. <laughs> Are we going to see Dana Carvey this week? Physical, good. Doing that thing. Doing, Doing the that physical. Dana Helping myself to Dana Carvey's material. Not yeah. Karen. <laughs> yeah. Doing my thing. Physical being a thief, thing. Being a thief of comedy. That's right. Like physical. that nice guy. Helping myself. Not paying royalties. Physical yeah. thing. Not giving homage to where I got the bit. Just <laughs> doing it. Not caring. Physical. Don't take a physical. Don't want my eyes bulging out like barbers. <laughs> That's right. Don't want it. That broccoli thing. I, I talked about that already. We're not doing that. I think the doctor will go mining in uh, George Bush's uh, butt. <laughs> they say it will include his eyes. Yeah. His ears. Yes. A chest X-ray. Mm -hmm. Check, please. Some blood and Help some urine. Help myself to Bell's material. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> they do his chest is blood. And his urine. Not giving, not caring, babe. Just and his urine. Myself, babe. And yeah, all babe. of that will yeah, take yeah, about sure. six sure, hours. Babe. Yeah, sure. Six hours to just do that. Yeah. yeah. Doctor Belzer giving the physical. Yeah, sure, babe. Yeah, yeah, great. Yeah, sure. Yeah, yeah. Make fun of someone's physical conditions, man. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Meanwhile, while we're marching into South America, man. Yeah, sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Why, don't, why don't we talk about how how like South American children are on drugs, man? Yeah, yeah, sure. <laughs> yeah, sure. Make fun of AIDS, like like there's no AIDS research. It's not. Why don't we do jokes about the fact that there is no age research in the country and that little <laughs> children are dying, man. Oh, man. <laughs> well, why, why don't George... we talk about the fact that we're supporting Noriega and the government, you know? <laughs> well, George Bush's doctor Dr. says Belzer. overall he's in very good health. He just has a mild okay. touch of arthritis in his hips. Like arthritis is funny, man. Like that's um, funny. Like, just like he's supporting Noriega and the whole drug program. And like little children are dying in the streets. And he suffers from some allergies. <laughs> oh, like allergies are funny. That children are sneezing. <laughs> yeah, children are sneezing in the streets. <laughs> <laughs> and that's what's happening. Yeah. 
Oh, we so, got through it. That's yeah, amazing. but is he a homo? <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, let me think, of course, uh, Gilbert Dice Gottfried. <laughs> <laughs> what are you, a homo? <laughs> but let me tell you something. My friend, you will be at the bottom line Saturday night. And so in two looking, shows. Everyone will be looking forward two, to that. Two and, shows, the bottom line. And everyone is looking forward to the brilliant comedy of Sam Kinison. That's right. And oh. again, I have to mention, the Randy Henson band is not to be missed. That's right. That's the I mean, guy. that's your uh, opening act. This guy is incredible. It's the best Jimi Hendrix tribute show. You're, you're going you're gonna to freak. I mean, I know you like Hendrix. So there's going to be a Hendrix. What do you see what this guy does? You will, Leslie West called me up and said, you got to see this guy. He says, I, I jam with uh, Jimmy. And Jimmy wasn't as good, but he was Jimmy. I was there. I'm telling you. you know. Someone down saw this guy about midnight. So the guy opening for you will do a Jimi Hendrix tribute. Oh, it's the... Uh, I'm we you, like those I can't push it enough. Show. It's amazing. The guy opening for me does a Janis Joplin tribute. Is that right? <laughs> yes. But it's a guy. It's a guy. Me, man, man, just like That's the experience. Different. That's right. It's a short like patch midget. You mean like he has like a guy like Noel Redding standing there going, uh, how do, I'm I, play, how do you, I play this bass? Just you will be talking about this man, I predict. Where You'll be I... talking about this man when you come back from your vacation. Right. If you were on the air Monday, you'd be talking about money. Really? You're not going to be on the air. Vacation. I'm telling you, I, I, I was blown away, and I'm not blown away. You know, hey, well, you're blown away. I was blown away. <laughs> hey, well, you're going in there and getting blown away. I was Let blown. I'm Smart telling man. you now. <laughs> and then I get served by Marvin Mitchelson guy. <laughs> so anyway, so Sam will be there with, uh, and then at the end, of after he does the comedy yeah. segment, then there's all the whole big jam. all-star jam. Yeah. jam. We're okay. going to rock the NASA. Also, don't miss Jackie the Joke Man. Where's his theme music? <laughs> Oh, no. <laughs> Don't miss Jackie the Joke Man Friday and Saturday, April 27th and 28th. I goes up to a prostitute. <laughs> Isn't he on a one-man tour? Yeah. <laughs> Nobody <laughs> opens for him. We do three dollars. <laughs> Friday and Saturday, April 27th and 28th at the new comedy club called Kicks in Totowa, New Jersey. Go try and stump the joke. Man. by a prostitute. <laughs> Boy, Gary will be the grand marshal for the Make-A-Wish Foundation walkathon. You, you gotta go to the Make-A-Wish. Howard, Howard, you gotta go to the Make-A-Wish. You gotta go to Make-A-Wish. I'm gonna be to Make-A-Wish. To Make-A-Wish. You gotta go to the Make-A-Wish. Gary, can you clean your teeth? I got Make-A-Wish. I gotta go to the Make-A-Wish. I wish you'd clean your teeth. That's my favorite. I gotta go to the Make-A-Wish. I wish, I wish I had dental floss. I wish, I wish I had about five hundred. You want your dental floss? <laughs> oh God! Boy, Gary, oh, I wish I had with no mercy. I wish I had a water pick. <laughs> Boy, Gary will be the grand marshal for the Make a Wish Foundation Walkathon at Eisenhower Park in East Meadow, Long Island, on Sunday, April twenty second, from nine a.m. to two p.m. For more information, call two one two five zero five Wish. And uh, wish. Gar Gary will be wearing his face. Like Elton John more. <laughs> Don't miss Josie Sang. That's Stuttering John's band. Appearing at Zepco's Dunellen Theater, Route 28 in Dunellen, New Jersey. Tomorrow night, April 12th. Get tickets tonight, in advance tonight. right now. That's tonight. Sorry. Oh, tonight. Tonight's okay. Dunellen. Dunellen. <coughs> Through Ticketmaster and Ticketmaster Charge. And uh, tonight, Tim from Pig Vomit at Central Park North on Central Avenue. Wow. White <laughs> Don't forget about... <laughs> for the utmost in mobile music... Call Chrome Dome Scott's Rocket Entertainment at 718 Loser. No, 718 Bag 5040. 718 Bag 5040. Okay, there we go. Anyway, thank you, Sam. Hey, always a pleasure. I'll be here tomorrow. Okay, looking forward to Saturday night. Yeah. And uh, Gilbert. Looking forward to that thing. Looking little thing we're going to do at NASA. That Saturday thing. Also Saturday night. Also Saturday night. Looking forward to that. Line. Bottom yeah. line. I'm making a whole day of it. Hey, you're going to start where? I'm starting over at Gilbert's show. Yeah. I go to see that. Yeah. Then I buzz over to uh, Lewis, Richard Lewis. Yeah. No, no, no. I'll uh, let's go to Sam. Make sure we're there sure. on yeah. time. Uh, yeah, you don't want to miss me. Right. I, you know, see Sam. The you always get these city dweller guys. You right. know, how often do I come in? Yeah. Right, exactly. Uh -huh. And then, uh, then go over to see Richard Lewis. Right. And then um, dinner at Jokeland at Jackie's house. <laughs> there you go. There you go. All right, we're going to get out of here. Let's, uh, we'll play so something from your weekend. album. It's a comedy weekend, Mason. We played from your I'm album yesterday. It's a comedy oh, fest. A prostitute? And he says, what are you doing for two dollars? So he goes on the two dollars, he comes back two weeks later. Sam, if I had your album, I'd be playing it right now. Huh? You would? Yeah. Oh, it's too bad. Yeah, we played it yesterday. Oh, you did? Yeah, we did. Thank you. Yeah. Hey, it's, it's jumping up those charts, man. Second week, and I opened up at 185, and now we're at 111. It's got to be exciting. And it hasn't even haven't had the release out yet. I think the release just got mailed. So yeah. Them. Look at this. My God. Have you seen the album cover? Oh, you haven't oh, seen this. Oh, Gilbert, you got to see this. Let me show hold on. Okay. Hold on. Right. Hold on. First, let's hold get on. this set up. Hold on. Right. Plenty of time for other things. I mean, hold on. I'll play under my I phone. I love this schedule. So great. Yeah, that's our actually our single that we're going to be pushing. Okay. The uh, the video I'm told will be in rotation by next week on MTV. 
There we go. Oh, all right. So they finally, it was edited away enough to where they liked it. So, <laughs> so right. it's about two minutes. So, yeah. And it's what? about a minute long. You get to undermine, and then they stop the song. <laughs> all right, so I'm going to leave you with a little montage. I'll leave right. you with Harvey Firestein. Okay. Ah, uh, yes. Talking about me. Oh, I've never heard this. And then we'll break into Under My Thumb. Sounds great. All right, here we go. It's going to be a very exciting. I've never ending. heard this. Oh, this will be exciting. Here we go. Now, if I could just make this happen. On radio or television shows? No, this isn't morning. the tape I wanted. Okay. It's my crack team. That, you wanted the John interview. Yeah. This is Harvey Firestein. No. Okay, thank you. you got a great group of people here, Howard. That's why I have 17 people employed on oh, this program. Man. Ah. <laughs> I know. Uh -oh. <laughs> you try. You try, ladies and gentlemen. We're just talking to ourselves here. Yep. <laughs> Does anybody know where that is? Yes. <laughs> Wow! Oh, look at the look at the confidence on Fred's face. This man knows where every tape is in this place. Unfortunately, I don't have He's time to wait man. for it. I got a meeting and I got to go. So, oh, all right. Oh, man, I never heard the Harvey fight. Tomorrow. What if he gets back in time? Tomorrow. What if Come Fred on, really Harvey, hurries? We can wait a minute. What if he hurries? Really hurries? There he is. Great. Oh, thanks, Fred. Oh, 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 that was close. Here it is. Hi, Harvey. I'm from WXRK. K Rock. Yes. Yeah, I'm, oh, yeah. I'm uh, from the radio. Is it okay if I ask you a couple questions? Sure, sure. Yes. Howard? <laughs> yeah, it's from Howard Stern. Nah, no, then forget it. No, it's for the whole station. I hate that Howard Stern. Forget it. <laughs> uh, listen, come on. Get... I hate that Howard Stern. You know I hate your guts, so take this nap. Forget it. Do you think Mark Christian deserve the money? Forget it. No, really. Really? Yeah, just anything? Guys, come on. I wouldn't do that to you. I can't ask you. I mean, I'll get in trouble if I get... Just let me ask two questions. Oh, but Howard's tried to get interviews from me before. I don't want to. I don't want to talk to Howard Stern. He's a f***ing ass. So let's just... Okay, sir. I'm Thank trying you. to put f***ing in every yeah. sentence we can. That's enough. But thank you. I mean, I appreciate your job. Nothing against you. You're a nice person. How about a nice question? No. <laughs> it's about Torch Song? Yeah, yeah, it's about Torch Song. Oh, it's, yeah, yeah. No, no, no. Yeah, it is. Excuse me, no. 